It's the Bob and Tom Show. Now all you trick-or-treaters come listen to me good about a grave that's in a graveyard in this very neighborhood. Contains a boy who died this very night so long ago. And now candy wrappers mysteriously appear around his stone. You know it's Halloween. You know it's kind of scary. The way the ghosts come floating out of the cemetery. Sliding through the dirt, all cold and moldy. And the only thing that they can think about is how to get your candy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Do your witch voice, Chris. Come on. Trick or treat. Hear the children crying. But who's that pale boy at the back with the antique suit and tie on? <laughs> when you passed out the candy, it seemed to fade into his hand. Oh. And look, there's a clump of fresh dirt on the spot where he'd stand. Oh, it's Halloween. You know, it's kind of scary. The way the ghosts come floating out of the cemetery. Sliding through the dirt, all cold and moldy. And the only thing that they can think about is how. To get your candy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I heard about this kid who collected lots of sweets. And with a flashlight in his bed, he counted out his treats. When they found him in the morning, the bags of candy, they were gone. A clump of fresh dirt by his bed, and the flashlight was still on. Oh, it's Halloween. You know, it's kind of scary. The way the ghosts come floating out of the cemetery. Sliding through the dirt, all cold and moldy. And the only thing that they can think about is how. Now each and every child behind a mask is hid But which one do you think's a ghost and which one is a kid? But in the shiny darkness when the leaves are blowing through Has it occurred to you the only one that's not a ghost is you? Everybody And so you trick-or-treaters, take heed of what I said. And leave your candy here with me, don't take it up to bed. I'll protect you from the ghoulies and the ghosties and the beasties. Though you may lose that Snickers bar and, ooh, look, Reese's Pieces. Oh, it's Halloween, you know it's kind of scary. The way the ghosts come floating out of the cemetery. Now get on up to bed, but grab that broom before you do. And sweep up this clump of fresh dirt. That fell off of my pants. Thank you, Haywood Banks. The Good genius morning. of Haywood Banks, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, and how are you? It's the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello, Chick. Hello. There's Josh Arnold. Chick. There's Ace Cosby. Buddy. I'm Chick McGee, and here's <laughs> here's Tom. Thank you very much, Haywood. Uh, Haywood, by the way, is at the Brown County Playhouse coming up this Saturday night for a scary evening of... Well, Haywood's always fairly scary. Uh, thank you very much, Haywood. One of many uh, great Halloween songs. We've got a really unusual Halloween story coming up. Hmm. <laughs> really unusual. Tis the season. And um, I will say this in advance. Uh, it makes no sense. Okay. There's a lot of questions. but uh, it's... I have a question about Halloween. I wonder when Beggar's Night is. Oh, God. Every year we go through this. It's the day before, right? Uh, day no. before, day after. When no, I was a kid. Yeah, if, well, no one cares. Especially what? if Halloween was on a Friday or Saturday, you couldn't go out and trick or treat those nights. They would they would uh, designate a, another night. Why? Oh, okay. Because we were uh, we took it to the limit, man. We, were, yeah. <laughs> we did too, on yeah. a Friday or Saturday night, uh, start fights for candy. Oh yeah. Ah. No, I don't know why, but uh, I think the, I always thought that was the reason. Uh, is there something wrong with this country? We're moving Halloween. I'm surprised we haven't moved July Fourth and Christmas. I don't think Halloween's a big deal, is it? Yes. Yeah. It's a very big Halloween's deal. one of those uh, holidays where I go, oh, today's Halloween, huh? Well, you That's don't all I do. Have small children no. at home. Yeah, no. you, you lock your house up and turn the lights off and don't give out candy. 
Monday through Friday, yeah. 365 days a year. <laughs> in Jake's defense, he doesn't get a ton of trick-or-treaters. That's because they know there's nothing there. No, well. No, but where I'm located, <laughs> yeah. the, the palatial estates. They yeah, right there in the lake. Yeah. They, 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 the kids can't get there by phone. Halloween is bigger than ever. Uh, parties and if you, costumes. If you say so. No, it, I mean, statistically, if you read about the, the numbers of... Uh, New York Times... Uh, uh, it came through with an article. I apologize for reading decent publications. I'm sure they... <laughs> what about yeah. the L.A. Times? I, I, somebody sent me an article from the L.A. Times yesterday. I get that, too. Do you uh, do you recognize that, or is it New York Times? Yeah. You said the other day, paper of record, New York Times, and I was just wondering. Well, that's, that's a, what about There the are many papers of records. I read <laughs> a lot of them. <laughs> trying to keep up. I These see. days, it's I a see. little bit depressing. Okay. You may want to take a yeah. break from reading any news. And you have to spend the first 10 minutes reading retractions, and then uh, <laughs> and actually get to the news. Stories. Where is uh, on these papers of record? Where is a Screw magazine by Al Goldstein? Is that is, is uh, that still being published? There? I don't think so, but boy, it was something when it was. What was it? Well, it was uh, just exactly what you think it would be. It was called Screw magazine, and it was about all things adult cinema and, and the was, world of pornography. It was the thing. If you if, if you ever saw it or read it, you'd want to take a shower immediately. Okay, that's not was, true. They would have uh, they would give uh, movies ratings. They would get, uh, call it the Peter Meter. And, oh. Uh, they would give yeah. pornographic movies Absolutely. ratings based on the um, angle of the dangle, if you will. And then their spokesman, Al Goldstein, was uh, yes, as sleazy was, as you... He was, he was something. Yeah, it was... I, I don't that. know if he's still with us. He was kind of a, a, a less than... Uh, yeah, he, yeah, I know he what you're saying. He was a Hefner uh, wannabe? No, 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 no he even was less, even less than, than Larry, the hustler guy. Yeah. Larry Flynn. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Like a, like a sleazier Larry Flynn. Uh, uh, he died in 2013. Okay. Then, oh, bless his heart. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> good luck. Uh, um, Ooh. Uh, how did you get to this topic? A paper of record that you said the other day. Oh, okay. In, in your snotty way. It wasn't a snotty you know, way at all. Yeah. I just you were just saying that, I, I, that you had read the statistics were the paper for Halloween were very high. Yeah, uh, well, we, I can examine those and find some for you that'll make you happy. There is an article in the L.A. Times about uh, our friend comedian Brent Terhune. You never cared for us. Did you guys know that? Oh, I yeah. did not I know, know that. Hey, you know what? Up, and I, uh, <laughs> I never cared for him. Oh, I am quoted in the article. If you'd like to read, Ooh, it. well, just uh, like a line. <laughs> I was disappointed how much you were quoted. I thought there'd be much more. I was looking forward to it. Uh, we have... Uh, he's a good man. <laughs> uh, he's great. We, um, Despite the beard. Yesterday... <laughs> yeah, right? Yesterday, we uh, were talking about um, a little bit of baseball and, uh, and announcers. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm a big fan of the the homers, the, 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 the ladies and gents that really get into it. Because mm -hmm. sometimes it can be a little bit clinical. You know what I'm talking about, Josh. Sure. When the analysis is all stats and no emotion... I like it when they go crazy, and uh, Chick found the uh, the Spanish. Erico, everyone likes it when they grow crazy. If Tom likes it, right? <sighs> no. I have a I have a new thing over here, Christy. It's the What's that? The, the dick meter. And oh, I point at this. Bzzz, oh, look, it's a hundred. Here's, <laughs> here's the Spanish uh, call of uh, Kyle Schwarber's home run for the Phillies uh, a couple nights ago. La primera entrada. Schwarber al primer picheo. Isn't that great? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, just, it's so well, cool. we had enough of that. Yep. <laughs> no, no, no. My point, the guy's holding the note. I know. That's great it's just, lung it's capacity. Just, it's fun. He's it, got a good voice. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it, you typically hear that in a soccer call. You go, and they go sure. nuts. Um, They're very passionate. Uh, uh, Dean took that and uh, decided that it needed a little bit of... Uh, Help and I, I, I just I find this to be just delightful. This, this, this I think will make you happy. Okay, here we go. Here it is. <laughs> Try that with the boring uh, uh, appliance-like announcers. Well, there he goes. It oh, looks like it's a Grand Slam. That's okay. Out of the park. This Grand Slam brought to you by Fromson's Insurance. 
I wish I had it so I could go kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> I think you get it. In that case. That's what you get on a regular baseball. <laughs> you don't like the guys who talk like this during the whole God, what is that? Baseball I game. I, ju- I, 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 I want to say Vince Scully did it the best and first, and everybody tried to copy it, I think. I don't know, a Red Barber or one of the, but I don't think Red Barber talked like that. Yeah, no, but know. there are, yeah, you're right, though. There was, there was a, um, Tom Wolf, the writer, wrote that. You can't go home again. All pi- not that one. Oh, okay. All pilots would <laughs> kind of do like a Chuck Yeager thing, no matter where they were from. Oh, here's the thing. Yeah, oh, this is your captain speaking. <laughs> well, I'm from uh, Boston, but I talk like I'm from the south. Uh, kind of a fun thing. Now, uh, we have uh, coming up in sports. We, we have a uh, new champion in the WNBA. Well, same champion, but champion again. Oh. And uh, Major League Baseball. And maybe, you know, I tell Tom that uh, due to his... Um, uh, unorganized approach to life and not being able to pay attention and not being able to read and think at the same time. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, all true, yes. I've uh, told him that maybe radio's not for him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, after watching Max Scherzer last night pitch for the Rangers, maybe maybe pitching is not for Max Scherzer. Oh, no. Maybe he should uh, think of something else. Yeah, the Astros win. We'll have details. And uh, let's see. Colts quarterback, uh, he is out for the season. Anthony Richardson. Has anybody uh, checked on Willie this shoulder morning? Shoulder has. Uh, he texted me yesterday. It seemed okay. okay. Uh, and uh, Roger Goodell got a big fat raise. And if you're asking, why did he get a big fat raise? It's because if you're asking that, you don't understand how money works. <laughs> yes. So there you go. Yeah, they're doing very well. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, and coming up, Tom, we're going to hear from uh, Bruce Bochy, uh, okay, very good. last night of the Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> Got a weird uh, TikTok thing out there um, coming up. Um, the, your clue is Dimple Maker. Oh, no. Yeah. I think dimples, I think those dimples uh, uh, the bottom, the back. And the butt. Yeah. They're yeah up well, above, really above the back to, or the top. Boom. Yeah, dimples, uh, dimples in the news and people who, of course, want dimples that don't have them. And TikTok will give you uh, the way not to do it. Uh, right now, I want to talk about seasonality. I've always been a big fan of this. I've been talking about this for a long time. Uh, and the fall has arrived. And uh, the folks at HelloFresh get it. They understand because it's all about freshness and great food. And at HelloFresh, they've got a bunch of fall stuff right now. What I'm talking about is America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh saves you a ton of time and a ton of money. They save you the time by doing the grocery shopping for you, putting it all together by measuring everything. So you've got this and that, and this is in a bag, and this is separated for you. You put it together sometimes in just uh, 5 to 15 minutes. They're called quick and easy options. And you're going to get great food that you can whip together very quickly without the stress of going to the grocery store, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Christy, what are you working on over One there? pan Santa Fe chicken tacos with Monterey Jack and cilantro citrus slaw takes 20 minutes from the time you start till the time it's on the table. It's amazing. And then all of the instructions are only four easy steps are right there on the beautiful card. They send you all the stuff and you put it together and there you have it. One pan and meal. And 40 recipes each week to choose from and uh, the array of uh, food lifestyles that they cater to would be all of them vegan over here comfort food over there and everything in between get the details go to hellofresh.com slash 50 bt show why the code 50 bt show how about saving a 50 percent and free shipping well that sounds pretty good hellofresh.com slash 50 bt show and uh, don't forget the mini pumpkin cheesecake at the hellofresh market lots of other great stuff to grab there hellofresh.com slash 50 bt show hellofresh give it a shot you're gonna like it now uh, also coming up today we have uh, more sexy time from the new york times and uh, another uh Another Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift update. Oh, boy. They're not dating. Them. Oh, okay. Okie doke. Okay. Well, he's um, kind of put his money where his mouth is. Okay, so we'll, we'll find we'll, out. We'll, we'll uh, the, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, don't say we didn't warn you. <laughs> uh, we, have, uh, we have Etta May in the studio with us. Uh, Etta May is um, uh, the mother of several. What, what is the official count? Uh, uh, four. Okay, great. Not counting wow. my husband. Okay. Yeah. Um, You're done, right? Uh, my, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> my oldest boy, Bud, is 17, Bud. and then Corona, she is 16, huh. and Miller is 13, and then Jack is 8. There's, there's a theme there. <laughs> well, Jack. no, trust me, after the third one, I had graduated to hard liquor. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, Understood. <laughs> 
<laughs> it helps. Uh, yeah, and, and Jack is a, just a dream. Is he? My little eight-year-old. Yeah. He started kindergarten this year, so we're very oh, happy. Oh, he's eight? Wow. Yeah. Huh. Chick, take you back. Yes, you? it does. <laughs> yeah. That kid's Woo. huge. Nothing yeah. like being 20 during your senior year in high school. <laughs> You're popular. Yeah. You can drive and... Drinking. And, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, drive your buddies yeah. around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're very proud of him, and... Um, my 17-year-old is uh, uh, problems are arising. Mm. As I, I, I'm, I'm seeing flags. Mm. Let's put it down. The other day, he walked in the house. Uh, he had pierced his bottom lip. Ooh, jeez. Um, and uh, that uh, and tried to hide it from me. Mm. It's <laughs> like you know what? Be a man. Own it. Mm-hmm. Don't hide it. And it's like, you know, it's like, hello, you got a spike sticking out your bottom lip. <laughs> Man up. I'm like, yeah, I might notice that at breakfast when Cheerios keep getting hung up on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah my son for his graduating class now looks like a ring toss game. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he tries to hide it. And it's like, hey, mom, I'm going to I'm going to go to my room. Okay. And it's like, come here. What's the matter with you? Why are you talking? Mm. Come here. And I, and I said, put your hand down. And he, and it's like, oh, honey, what did you do? And I said, did that hurt going in? Did it hurt coming out? Oh. Oh. Hey, any holes be put in my kid's head, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is the kid he runs with. That's yeah. his the bad influence. This kid has so many piercings, he looks like he was attacked by a nail gun. Okay? <laughs> Somebody from Home Depot did a drive-by on him. <laughs> I mean, I call him Tackle Box. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds attractive. Oh, yeah. Does. Gunner, you can take him fishing. Uh, really? He, he's got a couple fish hooks right here. Oh, yeah. Oh. About 13 lures in his ear. A couple <laughs> sinkers coming out of his nose. It's convenient, yeah. The kid can't even walk past my refrigerator without all the magnets going. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Josh, what's wrong? My back is sore, my legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look, nothing. Ah, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, I I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. See you later, buddy. Give it a... Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific. <laughs> See you a... later. <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more. Tom 50 to get 50% off. Think you know your pro football and want to put your knowledge to the test? Then play Pigskin Pick'em every week at BobandTom.com. This is your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. Just pick the winners of this week's pro football games and you could win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. Head to BobandTom.com slash contest and play Pigskin Pick'em. And don't miss the Chick McGee Shoe In of the Week, Thursdays on the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, this is Larry the Cable Guy, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. If you're not, you're a communist. Wow, what am I going to do? I've got to get this box to Los Angeles by tomorrow. So, just FedEx it. Are you kidding? It's too big. Well, then, overnight it by train. By train? All the way across the country, overnight. (laughs) Are you crazy? No, pal, he's not crazy. The famous Norfolk and Winston Railroad has just merged with WayPal Delivery Services. Together, our new company will revolutionize the overnight delivery business. Ask for us by name. We're... Hold it. You're telling me you can get this 2,000-pound package from New York to L.A. overnight by train? Norfolk and WayPal, overnight. Absolutely positive. Absolutely positively, we will get you through. We'll be right back. 
by rail, no package is too large. And we'll get it there overnight. Norfolk and Way, pal. That's the name. We do it by train. Cross country, by rail, overnight. There's Norfolk and Way, pal. Here at the Bronx Zoo, we actually shipped Washoe the gorilla to the San Diego Zoo overnight. We had to pry his eyes open on the West Coast, but he's fine now. Absolutely, positively. Absolutely, positively, we will get Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hey. You okay now? You yep, all right? I'm fine. You're all right. <laughs> We're out of wood. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> you realize the printer ran for seven minutes. There was an incident. It did not run for seven minutes. It ran the entire printer. <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus Christ. If no, that had happened you. to you, you wouldn't have said anything. <laughs> no, I would have. Built, what? built a fort. <laughs> I can't why, did, why did I go to my office? I, I missed a lot, apparently. A lot of Christy, yelling. all of a sudden, the break starts, and I start hearing the printer going, and the chick finally screams, are you printing? You're thinking it was me. I said no, and Christy goes, I'm printing something, and then it just keeps it running. It just kept running. It wouldn't stop printing. <laughs> just spewing uh, out my paper. Friend, my favorite thing was, I don't know why it's doing this. <laughs> I didn't. I hit print once. Did, did uh -huh. you get the thing you wanted? Yeah, 18 times. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was more than 18. Hey, you guys say what you want. That printer is a go-getter. Yeah, it okay. is. Hey, boy. He does everything you want more than 17 <laughs> times over. <laughs> My experience with printers is it's cheaper to go buy a new printer every time the ink runs out. How are printers so... I know ink's uh, the old joke. Uh, the ink uh, is so expensive. Oh! But why are printers so cheap? I never understood that. It's like 100 bucks for a kick-ass printer. Because it's, it's, it. like, it, it's like cocaine. The first one's free. Hi, the printer's guys. free. It's the ink where they I get you. We just went over that. There's uh, Josh Arnold. Hello. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. I've uh, got a Tom. couple things going on here, including yeah. uh, right over there by Ace is uh, the orangeinsoles.com. Beautiful kegerator. We're giving that baby away. It's a, about a three-foot-high fridge, and it's designed so that you can throw three different sizes of uh, kegs in there. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And then it's got the thingy on top, the so-called tap where you can... Um, nope, thank you. You're right. <laughs> so, oh, <the> so cold. <laughs> <laughs> you can win that, baby. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest. By the way, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, tonight we start week seven of the NFL season. And you can be like Brad Graham of Erie, Pennsylvania, who won week six. He's got himself the Big Green Egg Minimax. Get your entries in today. It's so easy. Just pick the winners. We had uh, seven people get them, uh, get them right, get uh, 14 of 15 last week. And then uh, Brad won because he had all the uh, other info and the, the so-called tiebreakers. Anyway, you could be our winner. Check it out, bobandtom.com slash contest. Now, enough business. Christy, were you, uh, yes, we sir. mentioned that you mentioned the tapper on the top of the yeah. kegerator there from Orange Insoles. Do you, were you an arcade girl? Yes. Do you remember the game Tapper? I do not remember it was that. A bar, it was oh, like you, a bartender. Oh, you filled up uh, glasses of beer or something? Yes, and you yeah. had to keep sliding them and then... Uh, oh, no, I don't remember that right. game. It was, it was a, a pretty fun one. I was a little Galaxia <laughs> girl. I love that game. I have game. a question. Yes. In every business, uh, there's usually an, un, an unhealthy uh, behind-the-scenes... Everybody's got a dirty secret, Tom. Yeah, there's something going on. One of the things that we all laugh about, like, for example, stuff you can't say. You can't say this, therefore we say it. Especially oh, in, yeah, in here, yeah. there's, there's certain sure. limits. Do you suppose that video game designers have some behind-the-scenes just filthy video game? Oh, that they kind of pass along like among themselves? Yeah, if there's some underground... Probably. Sure there is. You know, I'm just curious. Even worse than yeah. Leisure Suit Larry? Yeah, no. yeah, you wouldn't be You wouldn't be filling <laughs> mugs of beer. You'd be he'd be you know, filling women with... Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sliding them out. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm, just, I, I'm not saying it should be done. I'm just right, asking. Right. But some underground video games, that I bet there are. Yeah. I mean, every business, everything, like, you know, pilots have their lingo and the stuff they would not say. <laughs> Even cartoon animators get a little... Uh, sure. And they get caught every now and again with some of their... Just having, just having a little fun. Yeah. How oh, sex in the sky? I don't like that kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we have another unfortunate uh, airline story, but also a cool story involving the Boeing 747 this morning. Hmm. And a cool story. We're talking about our uh, uh, kegerator. 
We have a cool refrigerator story. Kind of an interesting thing about refrigerators. <laughs> oh, you laugh? No, and when I saw this, I thought, okay, you, I guarantee your refrigerator is one of these. That's correct. Mm -hmm. You want a cool story? Yes. Yeah. Well, first of all, the Aces win the WNBA uh, title last night, and uh, Texas loses because Max Scherzer can't pitch no more. Astros win uh, eight to five last night, so the Texas still up two games one. Dear Tom, yes, I know how you like new technology. This is from a guy named Dean in Dayton, Ohio. Okay. That's all I'm telling you. A California company announced that they are going to start building electric flying taxis near the Dayton International Airport in Dayton, Ohio. Cool. They will start late 2024 and estimate they'll build 500 a year. The taxis will hold four passengers plus a pilot. You all need to check this out if you haven't yet. This is what I would say the future. It looks like the Jetsons to me. That's from Dean. Cool. Wow. There you go. Yeah, we've had stories How about can that be? electric airplanes. There are a couple of them out there that are working. But look, they, they have a they have a obviously li limited distance. I would think the uh, the fare would go up considering it's a little a little flying taxi. <laughs> yes, yeah. it wouldn't be like twenty bucks. And don't you keep that meter running? Uh, that's a thousand dollars a second. <laughs> Why don't you uh, hover right here? I'll be well, right you know, back. This is the <laughs> this is the the beginning. I mean, remember back in the day that the, the first VCRs were a thousand bucks. And then after a few years, they were essentially free. <laughs> this this happens with everything. So the the, the uh, I think this is great news. I, I would love to. So you don't have any problem with taking a flying taxi? To There's no way you would take a flying get to taxi. The once they get it perfected, I don't. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I don't want to be the, okay, so on the very start, first mission. So they they start <laughs> flying in 24. What what? What's uh, your target year for you being able to think, okay, everything's fine? My comfort level will be uh, <laughs> based on um, yeah, solid scientific evidence. And, uh -huh. You know, put a few dummies in one of these things, fly them around for a while, then we'll give it a shot. Crash test dummies? Yeah, that's what they're oh, for. That's fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, the old joke, hey, is that a crash helmet? I hope not. I hope. <laughs> oh, I hope. Oh, I uh, hope not. Yeah, was, <laughs> perhaps I should leave the ethnicity out of the... Oh, I wasn't. I didn't that realize he was true. ethnic. Oh, yeah, of course. Really? Was it Jose Jimenez? My I name thought he was Jose Jimenez. Uh, my bad. Yeah. I thought he was just like kind of a nerdy, uh, wormy guy. I think that was the first fad that was crazy. No one could explain it popular. But it, Bill Dana was everywhere doing that character. Remember it this? It was funny. It was everywhere. And I didn't I think it was there any negative uh, connotations. I just thought he was a kind of a humorous guy that happened to be scared with that. And, and he was a little dim. This is what your flying taxi would look like. This is the prototype that That's they've been super, using super, in California. Super cool. Looks like a helicopter drone. Uh-huh. Body of a helicopter with the four... I don't think we have enough, um, uh, have enough rotors uh, on that. Yeah. We need a couple more rotors. <laughs> but see, my thing about that is that, that uh, as long as they're licensed, qualified pilots... I don't like the idea of flying cars where every Tom, Dick, and Harry can hop in and start flying around. Oh, I will say this: if you're, if, you, if we do have flying cars eventually, when that check engine light goes off, <laughs> pay attention. <Yeah. laughs> don't just turn the radio up. Yeah. <laughs> you know there are naughty pilots. Oh my what god! What do you mean naughty pilots? Naughty that don't uh, play by the rules. That uh, do things that Mavericks do. That's right. They buzz the tower. <laughs> yeah. You know no. what they do. The most famous pilot from the sixties. We have him here. Do you want to hear a little bit of Jose? Here he is. Oh god! I've been noticing uh, this, Mr. Jimenez. What is this called? A crash helmet? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> I've only heard that, which is why I had no idea he was Jose Jimenez or whatever. Yeah, he, 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 he would start going, my name, Jose Jimenez. When he gotcha. introduces himself. It's uh, right away. Yeah. It's hilarious. Uh, so I've always, uh, this whole time I've been picturing a nerdy, uh, I've been, uh, but I was been it, far more innocent. I, I don't know. I don't know. It, was it <laughs> And then when he starts talking really fast, it, it, <clears throat> real, it's really funny. Uh, okay. Do you have something him talking fast? That, that's uh, we can we'll dig it up later. Bill Dano is the guy's name. Dana? Bill Dana. Bill yeah. Dana. I think he was a part of the uh, the Steve Allen show. Yeah, I came from oh, there. Oh wow! Yeah. Jesus. Steve Allen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bill Dana, Louis <laughs> Nye, Don right. Knotts, yep. uh, Tom. Post. Louis Nye, who's great in Good Neighbor Sam. He's you remember the, the Louis detective. Nye? <laughs> he was old when we were kids. Yeah. He was the guy in the van and Good Neighbor Sam. Have you? Did you ever go watch Good Neighbor Sam? No, I haven't recorded on my DVR. <laughs> yeah, you gotta watch. There's, there's one running gag that makes that whole movie worth well, it. There's no. Watch. There's nothing in that. There's movie a great running gag watch. featuring the High Lows. Nope. Which true. is a vocal group. You'd like it. They're kind of like your band, the Consensuals. Yeah, I'll. I'll do that hurts. 
put you in well, the driver's there, seat. There's the running joke right there. Oh, it's so he, funny. I think he actually sent me that whole scene. I, I watched it. it was, oh, isn't it, was it great? Funny. Yeah, yeah, funny. It makes makes me howl. I'm glad you think it's funny, and it it it, it, it makes you happy. What would make what what would you think is funny? I not that. Really? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Jack, an, an exacerbated uh, is is that the uh, Jack Lemon is always entertaining. Well, Jack Lemon's yep. uh, America's <laughs> treasure. Okay. We all know that. Uh, well, uh, do we have any more? Exasperated. That's what I was. Uh, Las Vegas Aces, and of course they're named the Aces. Kid, look at all those Aces and those chicks. Huh? Uh, I yeah. sure hope not. <laughs> no, of course not. Uh, big crowd last night at uh, at the Garden. Uh, the Aces became the first team in 21 years to win back-to-back -back WNBA championships. 24 points, the 16 rebounds from Asia. Oh, I was an MVP, huh? Wilson. And a defensive stop in the closing seconds to beat the Liberty 70 to 69 <laughs> and take the series in game four of the finals. Aces joined the Sparks, Los Angeles Sparks, 2001, 2002, and the Houston Comets in 97 and 2000. The only teams in WNBA history to win consecutive titles. Congratulations. Wow. That's Congratulations. great. Congratulations. And that brings us to Major League Baseball, where Max Scherzer was roughed up, to say the least, again by the Houston Astros, this time Game 3 last night in Texas, Arlington, Texas. Uh, the ALCS three-time Cy Young Award winner who has different colored eyeballs. Ooh. Freak, freak! Freak! Uh, he I, I read that there are only 150,000 of those in the world. Uh, really? People so that have one blue one be round. easy huh. to round them up. That's right. And get them out of the population. <laughs> Check. How hard would it what be? What if your coworkers does that? I None stand of our by my That's where we start. That. Who are we talking ah, about? I st we use him as a double agent. How's that? Christy, we wouldn't allow somebody with that to work in this no. building. Okay, well, you have somebody right there. <laughs> ah, hey, freak. Do you think, Christy, Sorry, if, freak. if the technology existed, and I think there's a version of this that's not safe, but if there was a safe way to change your eye color... I think Wait. a lot of people would immediately do it. Well, you contacts? can use contacts for no, that. I mean, I mean, if there was like a shot Permanent. you could get or that'll be here Boy, someday. That's something I never even think about. What do I, do you think about your eye color? I'm, I'm talking about the people. <laughs> Ace, would okay. you like to have, would you like to have big, big bright blue eyes? Make you even more handsome. The grinning. I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. You're talking about the great unwashed, aren't you, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> well, they are coming up in our refrigerator. And influencers who would do that. Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah. I think a lot of people would do that if that was something you could do. In the meantime, back in the baseball mound. Yes, uh, Max Scherzer roughed up. Uh, he did not do well. Uh, Astros win eight five last night. Uh, Rangers still hold a two game to one lead in. Uh, this series, uh, Houston took a 5 no, uh, five nothing lead right away, and uh, Scherzer could not find the plate. But here's uh, his manager, Rangers' Bruce Bochy, talking about Scherzer after the game. Yeah, I thought he had good stuff. He did. He came out and had his uh, normal velocity. Uh, but you're right, he didn't have his good slider tonight. That's right. You know, he didn't have his good slider last night, Tom. He didn't have his good stuff. Uh, we gave one away last night. Uh, <laughs> sometimes the bear gets you, and sometimes you get the bear, Josh. Yeah, I suppose so, Coach. Um, uh, he started to pitch a hissy fit about yeah. not being able to be out there. He's worthless as a gum on a boot heel last night. Out oh, there. is, is that know, right, It was Coach? unbelievable. Very, uh, yeah, very been of you. All over hell's half acre trying to be a pitcher. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. You know, the game's never promised to you. It Josh, sure ain't. It, it sure ain't, Coach. Yeah. 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 Hell's only got time. half an acre. A wise man. I figured hell's, hell's a only half full. Uh, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell said the league still needs to hire more minority head coaches. The latest rule change was aimed at increasing opportunities. Owners voted yesterday to push in-person head coaching interviews and re-up Mr. Goodell on a brand new contract. Mm. Uh, there are six minority head coaches now, including three who are black. The goal of pushing the in-person interviews back one week is to create more opportunities for candidates and coaches who are in the playoffs. And uh, one more NFL note, Colts quarterback, uh, the rookie Anthony Richardson, will have season-ending shoulder surgery. Oof. Colts coach uh, Shane Steichen says the long-term health of the Gator star was the key in making this decision. They're going to get him healthy and uh, shoot for next season, Tom. Which so is good news go. for Gardner Minshew. I love watching Gardner. I hope, mm -hmm. hope he has a great game this weekend. Gardner Minshew. Jonathan Taylor coming, Taylor coming back, and uh, the Browns are... I wonder if they'll give him the ball this week. Your thoughts on that, Tom? 
I got more yards than he did last week. <laughs> that's that's not true. He never gave him the ball. I think he I think he caught a pass for like twenty yards or something. Great. <laughs> Million dollars a foot. <laughs> you know, you're doing the exact thing that you always complain about on sports talk shows. I'm mm, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Armchair you know, quarterback. Oh, Want to hear more from Jose Jimenez? Sure you do. Those were those yeah, were different was, times. Sure, sure. Yeah, he was slang. Uh, 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 off the old uh, uh, jokes. Melt were, for the road. Uh, but yeah, and those that was hilarious. At the height of the space race. Uh, I'm, I'm not so sure if that was given those today. given that finger to the Ruskies. <laughs> sure, yeah. all, the, all those rockets work. Yeah, and we had the don't. first man on the moon. They had the first man in the moon. If you know what I mean. According to reports, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, uh, what's uh, more sports coming up, including uh, world records and uh, trouble amongst cowboy fans. Of course, one of my favorite things. And. Uh, We'll be right back. Uh, we have uh, also, I want to congratulate once again, Brad Graham, continuing the two first name traditions of winners of the Big Green Egg Mini Max. Uh, he won week six. You he think be that's real? You do really think that's interesting, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> four of six Four of six winners. Well, go over them again. Let's go two, over Two first names. Who was it? Who, go, who was it? Well, you, you got, got your uh, you got your uh, Craig Joseph. Craig, there's two first names. You got Ms. Alex Virgil. Two. Wow. You got uh, yeah. Josh Casey. And now you've got your Brad Graham. Boom. Think about that. Boom. I'm just, I'm just saying, it's uh, it, if you do a, a Venn diagram of people with two names, first name, never mind. What are you uh, saying? If you have a conventional last name, you probably shouldn't enter? No, I'm saying enter, but I mean, let's see what happens. This is amazing. It's like uh, flipping a coin and having heads come up 80% of the time. <sighs> um, I don't <laughs> think that's right. A larger point to that? Uh, no. No? Uh, the, oh, oh. The, yeah, the larger point, I'm sorry, was go to bobandtom.com slash contest. There we go. Enter to win week seven, the beautiful Big Green Egg Mini Max. While you're there, look into the orangeinsoles.com kegerator you could win under separate uh, programs. So check local listings. Uh, Josh, what do you got over there? Well, it's spooky season, isn't it? Yeah. What are you, what are you afraid of? The uh, Wolfman's? Boy, they can be terrifying. Ooh, Dracula's? Yes. I'm, fr Ooh. I'm afraid of black and orange, but not all orange. No way, man. Not orange insoles. That's right. Scary things uh, that really affect us. Back pain, hip pain, oh. knee pain. Uh, they sneak up out of nowhere and they, they linger, like don't they? Oh. If you work on your feet all day and you walk around with shoes that have that lame, thin liner, ghostly liner, you might say, inside your shoes that offer zero support, what are you still doing with those? If you're standing all day, you're putting stress on your body. It's that simple. Go to orangeinsoles.com. Orange insoles offer arch support. They have that deep cup to properly support your heel, your feet, and thusly your entire body. Heck, half the people in this building have them in their shoes. And if we haven't proven that we know what we're talking about, then w w what are you doing? <laughs> Listen to us, orangeinsoles.com. If the insole in your current shoe flops around like a sad fish, you're not getting the support you require. Think of a table. If it wobbles without proper support, well, it's no good. Head to orangeinsoles.com for free shipping, where your orange insoles come with a 60-day, we want you to be happy guarantee. And, and they don't smell like a fish. I want to make that no. clear. Absolutely not. Unless your feet smell like fish, which they probably don't. Perhaps you work at a, maybe you're a fishmonger. Maybe. Some sort of Seattle. And you market. stand in them all day. Let's get back to uh, supporting <laughs> your body and your the structure of your... <laughs> Happy to. Also at orangeinsoles.com, you can take their new insole quiz. Answer a few simple questions, including your symptoms, the shoes you plan to wear, your shoe size, and you're going to get a recommendation guaranteed to work. How easy is that? And also, speaking of easy, no cutting required. You don't need a pair of scissors in order to size properly your orange insoles they are true to size already go to orangeinsoles.com thank you very much also coming up uh, has your neighbor started a strip club at his house <laughs> 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 well this guy did we'll find out about that this is the bob and tom show got something to say send us an email bob and tom at bob and tom .com. this is the bob and tom
it's Josh, and of course. Hi, Chick McGee, everybody. Your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg for Bob and Tom and Big Green Egg. Each week, someone will win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. It's the Bob and Tom Show Pig Skin Pick, empowered by the Big Green Egg. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest on the computer. And... <laughs> Is that where you go? Are we eligible? the glass there we go i hear i hear it right now that is the uh, sound oh yeah the sound oh, of the yeah, band baby. here come One, the mummies two, dirty minds, dirty minds think
free psychiatry <laughs> for life. I think you would. I think you'd get a psychiatrist. Oh I'm sorry. Your, your mother bit her toenails <laughs> naked in front of you as a child. Here. You have free psychiatry for life. Free Prozac. Free, whatever you want. Program for that. We are going to fix you. How about it, boy? <laughs> Say anything you like? <laughs> I mean, Lord, you, help you, us, you, help us, Lord. You can imagine the twisting <laughs> oh that would be involved. There's a lot of people who can't even do that. Okay. <laughs> she was Show's very over. limber. <laughs> Show's over. Show's over. No, Everybody not. out. They don't say we didn't warn you. Oh, my God. There's laughter ahead. This is Bob and Tom Radio. And the announcer for the Super Friends, dead on too, by the way. I don't know who that guy was. Yeah, he was the guy who was after Ted Knight. Ted Knight did the original ones. Right. Like, Meanwhile, back at the Hall of Justice. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie and Sarah Monroe get ready. <laughs> Aquaman, I want you on the golf course in five minutes. Chop, chop. <laughs> hey, Superman, you're going to free ball a super that hat or what? <laughs> Talk to the judge. <laughs> I went to New York because at the time I was married and you know you could work every night and stay home and you try and work on a marriage you know what i'm talking about mm -hmm. you're married it's not that i'm like bitter or anything it's just i wish i could have rehearsed for living with someone that i was in love with mm -hmm. different than even a, a regular roommate because you move in you're in love and then the rules come out rules for the bathroom the kitchen the sweet and low you know it's like you get the feeling you don't get divorced because the thrill is gone it's because you don't know how to stack the tapes right underneath the vcr it's because <laughs> you put the spoon and the fork slot of the silverware drawer after having been repeatedly warned <laughs> You know I mean? Daryl Hammond, uh, disgruntled <laughs> former husband, uh, and uh, New Yorker is our guest. You're a very well dressed man. I can't uh, notice that. This is about a twenty-seven dollars. Part of my new line of men's clothing for divorce guys called. <laughs> That's clean. <laughs> Bob and Tom. Hey, Wood Banks. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show at the news desk. It's Christy Lee. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. Ace Cosby's here. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Got our, our question answered. What's up? I was just wondering, and I was sort of saying, in, in every profession or every walk of life, there's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. Mm -hmm. And we, we see, for example, the TV show The Bear, where they're showing it kind of behind the scenes in the restaurant business. Uh-huh. Yeah, um, we were just saying yesterday, the uh, if, if that would be a good costume, you could be... Carmi. Carmi and the Bear. You'll need a, just a, a big fright wig and put your hands in your hair a lot. And <laughs> again, if it were Smoke. a real restaurant, they'd make him wear a hairnet, I hope. Well, the, the sandwich has Carmi's hair in it. <laughs> uh, I was asking if, if uh, developers of video games... If they, you know, on the side do, like, filthy games that could never be released. And you have a letter? Yup, is the answer. There are 100% dirty video games, <laughs> uh, according to, uh, dirty. we'll just call them LTJ. Okay. Um, basically, they're video game porn. Um, aspiring developers do start out making this stuff because the bar is low and there are so many perverts out there. Well, thank you. Oh, so you mean you can get these? You can yeah, buy I guess these I guess they're floating wow. around out there. So I was just yeah. curious. I, you know, there's everything has its behind the scenes stuff. Did you know, for example, that the elder George Bush was a big fan of dirty jokes? Did you know that? Oh yeah, I did cool. not know that. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh. Uh -huh. yeah. Along with us, as as was a Lyndon Johnson. Uh, but uh, right now we um, Lyndon Johnson. I never heard that. Oh yeah, yeah. How do you know that? Or are you just throwing there, him in as the president? Called, they're called books. I don't. I read them on occasion. <laughs> There's an excellent uh, biography, a multi-volume. Uh, uh, Pat, you feel like playing a little song for us? Sure. What would you like? I know my audience. Do you want something about a plane? We never got to that story. The easy jet. Um, oh, I got that. The oh so easy, Jeff. Oh, this yeah. story. Is, oh, this get, is a Tom story. It's a little for rough. Sure. Don't blame me. I didn't do it. A lot going on in the air lately. No, well, you didn't do it, but. An easy jet flight from the Spanish island of Tenerife to London was canceled due to what the airline referred to a defecation incident. Yeah, yeah. Ariane yeah. Gatou, a passenger on board, told CNN travel. Uh, that the flight was already significantly delayed, but when the plane was finally given the clearance for takeoff, the incident happened with the defecation. Oh, no. Cadu said he saw two passengers visit the front airplane bathroom. Then word spread that someone you know, had defecated on the bathroom floor and an unpleasant smell followed. This guy's uh, middle name's 22. Did you know that? I did not. What's his name? Aaron Gadu. 
22. <laughs> wow. That, the Obscurity Award. Cleaners were brought in. Wouldn't while... it be 23? Was it 23? I thought it was 22 because it rhymed with skidoo. Wasn't it 23 skidoo? Okay. <laughs> Cleaners were brought in. I while... just still want to know what's on you. I can spend an hour, an hour and a half. Does anybody else find this? Yeah, I, I've never on, seen this story. On the computer. Yep. And I'll go down wormholes, mm -hmm. and I'll do all that the way <laughs> Americans do. Yeah. I hardly ever see, I don't think I've seen ever seen anything about defecation unless I'm talking to Tom. <laughs> I with you, Chick. It's amazing. Cleaners were brought in while passengers waited in their seats, but the captain ultimately said they'd have to deplane. Well. Easy jet We confirmed. have to deplane. <laughs> I mean, I thought the worst plane-related evacuation was uh, a water landing. I was wrong. That's just yeah, poor. Right. Can you imagine you're waiting all day and then you get in the plane and you have to get off and they cancel it because of some guy? EasyJet confirmed the initial delays as well as the overnight delay due to the aircraft requiring additional cleaning. Yes. Another passenger, Kitty Streak, yeah. said, oh, quote, no. we obviously can't prove whether the person simply had an accident or if they had done this out of anger for the delayed flight. But it was hard not to be angry either way, as nobody wants to be exactly. stranded in another country. Kitty has claws. Yes, yeah. she does. Uh, Pat, you have a song about this? Little talking heads? I like doing this. He's drunk as hell, out of his seat, screaming in the aisles and his bare feet. So they cuffed his hands to his chest after he grabbed the flight attendant's breast. He's a... Um, Psycho flyer, what the hey? He's fa 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 nuts. The cops came and took him away. Oh, yeah, Passenger stripped, roamed the aisle, took a big dump, sat in the pile. Oh. Rubbed it on carpets, authorities said. Crew members gagged as the was spread. He's a <laughs> psycho flyer. What the hey? He's fa 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 nuts. Cops came and took him away. Oh, hey, 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 he's insane. Ah, the psycho flyers are out there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Now, we got a nice letter here, Chick. This is a happy letter. Go. Uh, I enjoy you guys uh, uh, giving a nice shout-out to the excellent phlebotomists out there. This is from Heather. Mm. She goes, I travel around Iowa listening to your show, Drawing Blood. I had an encounter with a phlebotomist on Monday for some tests. And, uh, Chick, you were saying that... Uh, some are great. Some are, um, yeah. yeah, it's like anything else. Some of them have the touch, Josh. They can uh, grab yeah. your arm or your hand, and they get that needle in. You don't even feel it. Pretty amazing. Don't even know so, it. So, uh, hello again to all you great phlebotomists out there. I uh, certainly appreciate your uh, skill. And that is a skill. Of course, the best ones, uh, you know, quick over the uh, waistband, uh, you know. Uh, well, thank you very much. Oh, well, let's just yeah. go back. Uh, we have to return to the, to the sports desk so, where uh, we have chicken. Blood's McGee. not the only one. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, bodily fluids. Uh, we're going to hear from Ace Cosby. Are you ready, buddy? I'm ready. <laughs> Travis Kelsey bought a new mansion after fans and media have began stalking his house due to his relationship with Taylor Swift. They're not dating. Last week, uh, the Daily Mail received criticism after posting photos outside Kelsey's home, reportedly while Swift had spent the night. The not. Daily Mail, usually they pe leave people well alone. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Apparently, things started getting out of hand when the fans uh, started showing up to Kelsey's house. The Chiefs tight end has now bought a mansion due to privacy concerns while dating Taylor. <laughs> Travis is uh, leveling up his uh, living situation big time, it says here. Sources familiar just bought a new home in Kansas City. It's sale closing uh, Tuesday, uh, just under $6 million. It's uh, six bedrooms, six baths, 16,000 square feet, and it is a gated community. So he can, uh, he can control things a little better. I would think he would live somewhere <laughs> like this before yeah. instead of, yeah, I'm sure he just moved there. Out of well, you know, you've been dating yeah. somebody for a month, so, oh, let's buy a $6 million house. Well, I don't think that has anything to do with <laughs> privacy. Or sure. it's a... That's yeah. what it says here. And uh, that, that's when everything started to escalate because Taylor was spending the night. You guys go ahead well, and... One of the talking heads said they've never seen a non-quarterback do more TV commercials than Travis Kelsey's in there right now. I love his commercial where he sees the guy in, in the... Uh, Is that a bad thing? No, I mean, he's break, breaking in the bucks. I like the, the commercial where he does the chest bump with the guy. Yeah. 
for the credit card. That's really funny. If you, and he's he's great in it. He looks he's really funny. And, and after he chest pumps the kid, he he, he walks away. He kind of goes oh, like the kid, little kid hurt him. Very very clever. So when they break up, are you going to say, "See, I told you they weren't dating." <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, fine. Uh, now, uh, coming up in the news, Christy Lee. Uh, coming up, we have uh, portable toilets who've been stolen. We have a dimple maker in the news, which is interesting. Another one of those TikTok trends. And we have always get these stories in Halloween time about uh, bodies that are in the yard and people think they're real. <laughs> well, this is a twist on that one. And vacation sex. Are we friskier away from home? We'll find out. Oh, I think so. Oh, yeah, nothing hotter. Is that a question? Oh, yeah, well, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who cares <laughs> about these hotter. sheets? <laughs> yeah. Bring me the exactly. barbecue. Bring out the barbecue sauce. We're going for it. Uh, th this is the Bar the Bob and Tom Show. All right. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Catch any part of the show you missed later today on our. Whatever happened to the Transylvania twist? <laughs> it's now the monster mash. The monster mash. And it's a graveyard smash. It caught on in a flash. <laughs> it's now the monster mash. Now, everything is cool, Drax is part of the band. And my monster mash is the hit of the land. For you, the living, the mash was meant to. When I get to the door, tell them, Boris sent you. <laughs> Then you can monster mash. The monster mash. And do my graveyard smash. The monster mash. You'll catch on in a flash. Then you can mash. Do the monster mash. Me, easy, Jim McGee. <laughs> you impetuous boy. Sashi, take your hands off that pizza and out of your pants. 
Christy Lee, boobs back in the brassiere. And who's the sexy one with the bouffant? Oh, that's Ace. Oh, and there's a lovely lady, too. Make me a frittata, bitch. I must go. You forgot me again. Who? Pat Godwin. You owe me money. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dick Mango. Dr. Duke Tomato and the Power Trio. I do like porn, uh, but I'm going to ask you guys a favor. We get a lot of emails sent to the show. You can stop sending me porn clips, okay? I, uh, thanks, but no thanks. I, I appreciate it, but I'll be honest, I want to find my own porn, okay? T-Rex doesn't want to be fed. T-Rex wants to hunt. That's... You Christopher Walken? Uh, no. Uh, okay, well, here's your chance. And keep in mind, all of his thoughts are completely unconnected. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead and ask Christopher Walken anything. All right, what's the what's your new project, Christopher? Frankenstein never scared me. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been working on the on the film? Marsupials do. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, when's its release date? Because they're fast. <laughs> <laughs> they are fast. Oh, they are. Bob and Tom. Well meaning, but. Yeah, they're. They're all messed up. More than slightly confused. And Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on low-carb diet. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down. Right <laughs> we want to look good in the painting. <laughs> good morning, sunshine. Bob and Tom Radio. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Present. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold, the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. Hello. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Thank you very much. Coming up, we have uh, some great live shows. Uh, and I know that Mr. Godwin's going to be out there, the man, the guitar. Uh, he's going to be at the Funny Bone in St. Charles, Missouri. Coming up October 27th and 28th, that's a Friday, Saturday. Also, November 4th is a Saturday night. The Ho-Chunk Casino in the Wisconsin Dells is the place. Mr. Godwin, Mr. Oski, and Mr. Willie G. And by the way, Willie working with Frank Caliendo this weekend. I'll get you the info on that. It's going to be uh, in Milwaukee. That'll be a great show. Uh, Frank is one of the best. Uh, while I'm at it, uh, I should point out that we are going to be doing a very special show November 17th. That Friday morning, we'll be at the North Star Mohican Casino Resort in Bowler, Wisconsin, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, thank you. And, um... Thank you. He just thanked himself. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can join us for the show. It's free. And then that evening, we'll have a couple of uh, regular comedy shows. It's going to be great. Patty G, Josh, Mr. Oske, Mr. Uh, the young Mr. G, Willie, and Chick and I will be your hosts. Tickets for that are available. North Star Casino Resort slash entertainment. First show already sold out. Now, do you notice when you're bowling? You ever notice this? That it's, it's like, for, it's, like the, for, it's like almost like you're on stage. Yeah. When you finish, you turn around and you've got your audience out mm -hmm. there. You can be very, you can be very self-conscious. <laughs> everyone's, everyone's looking at you. I, I always found that even as a kid, that kind of bothered me. Oh. 
Really? Do you feel like doing a couple of me up there, Josh? You, you bowl, you turn around, you want to like do five minutes of your act? No. <laughs> <laughs> I do not. I've I already... don't see you as being self-conscious as a kid. Oh, God, yeah. Very, <clears throat> very much so. Uh, but let, let's move on and get back to the sports page. San Antonio police say an argument between two men during a Dallas Cowboys game led to both being stabbed. Reports are that two men in their 50s had an argument over noise during the Cowboys' 20-17 to win, just barely, over the Los Angeles Chargers. The incident occurred around 9.40 p.m. on the city's southwest side. According to police, the two men in their 50s living near each other... It's off-brand. ...and had an what argument... I would think they would have thought they would have been shot. <laughs> what, Texas? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I mean, who gets in a knife fight unless you're in a West Side Story? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there it is. I'm not I'm serious. I'm, you are unhooked today. Uh, you know that? Sorry. I'm, I'm glad it was only knives. Knives. Uh. Yeah. What? No guns? <laughs> chuckle, 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 chuckle. Remember that scene in West Side Story? They think, you know, no, they go back no, and forth. No Chains, guns, that. knives, fists. You know. I think when your girls are on vacation, you get too much sleep. I think that's the oh, problem. Sorry. <laughs> Wake up, talk to the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're always arguing with me, too. Really? First thing I say, and then they... Oh, they want a BLT, hold the lettuce. You know, uh, you know, how, dog, yeah. you know how dogs are. Yeah. Dogs. On a steak sandwich with no bread, just steak. It's they take attendance? They love it when I take attendance. Oh. <laughs> oh yes, you're here. Hi, yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and one of them's starting to act up. I'll get him. I'll go get him to sit. The one will sit, then the other will pull a stunt. Wait a minute. Where, are you, going? where are you going? Looking away? Like yeah. he's, they're whistling? Yeah. Yeah, that's no good. Sneaking away. Oh, I, I know where you're going. They really like it when I get out of the shower. They're both right there. Every really? Time. Oh, really? Yeah. Boom. I don't yeah, know what I'm doing in the shower. Yeah. My, it does the same thing. She yeah. waits for you? Sits yeah, on the toilet and waits. Huh. So, sometimes scares the hell out of me when I step out of the... Meow. You were oh, God. <laughs> I had no idea you were <laughs> <laughs> Holy hell. <laughs> Did you drop your camera? <laughs> well, my OnlyFans uh, subscribers need yeah. content. Yeah. Shower time. You think that content just happens? <laughs> right. Ooh. I got to play with a puppy yesterday. Oh. Kind. A German Shepherd mix. Oh, oh it was, Nothing better. I loved it. Loved so it. So smart. Man. Is there such a thing as a shower cam that you can... Like if you're... There absolutely is. That, Why are it's you, a waterproof yeah, thing for... You know we've been over this. Whatever you can think of, it exists. So if you want to do your, if you have an OnlyFans page, you want to show people showering, this is... Yes. Is, well, it, is it like a thing for your iPhone that makes it waterproof? That's the thing. I think most people just use, still use their phone. If you, go, if you go to OnlyFans and search shower cam, there are millions, if not <laughs> tens of millions. I would say oh. even if you don't search it, yeah. good luck not seeing it. Right. No it's kidding. A, oh. Yeah, yeah, it's a that's big a thing. thing, huh? Oh, curious. You've got to get out. <laughs> <laughs> you and I have a shower mirror now. I shave in the shower. Oh, I've heard. And you have a oh, boy, a shower mirror. How Who is it? thought it, of that? Because some aren't that great. But it was like 12 bucks. And it doesn't fall and it's, off? It's, 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 uh, well, but it's, some it's, are it's, really... Suction cups? No, well, I didn't. I just it's you know, it's a handheld thing, and you oh, you, hold, oh. you you hold it under the water to bring it up to temperature, and then it doesn't fog. It's the best. Oh, cool. Some some of them are complicated. The mount the mounted ones that you have to run a tube from your water to the mirror, and then back to the. No, this just a, this, is, this was <laughs> ten, good. Tw a ten twelve bucks. It's a, it's cheap and it's great. All right, it's just a handheld mirror. Yeah, I prop it up on the. Let me ask you something. Thingy. Shelf. When no, you were um, no, there's a what is that that faucet thing. The faucet, the faucet thing. thing. You know, the, the shower thing. head? Shower yeah. No, the thing you turn to make it go. Oh, shower okay. <laughs> what is that called? Faucet? What is that called? The controls? Uh, handle. The dial. Handle, handle, yeah. Uh, Are you at all concerned that, A, you're getting worse at talking to people and none of us can talk to you anymore? <laughs> Sorry. Are you, are you concerned? I'm recommending a little a little shower mirror. Now, when you have a little shower mirror, mirror in the shower and you're looking at yourself shaving, do you, do you ever uh, say, uh, like, I feel pretty or <laughs> oh. anything like that? Now, you know I only do that when I'm posing in front of a full-length mirror tucking. Ah. Oh. Look at how lovely I am. Mm. <laughs> See what you've done. No, my point about the story was these two guys get in a knife fight because they're, they're... Yeah, you wished it, it should have been a gunfight. No, I just, it's said. a little off-brand for San Antonio to be just a knife fight. Well, they were both on horseback. How's that? Oh, there you go. <laughs> now we're back on brand. <laughs> knife, fight, knife fight on horseback, that's hard to do. It's kind of like jousting. You better have a big knife. Horses don't like me. That's all there is to it.
Do you, now, all right, well, do you like them? No. Or are you nervous approaching them? They sense especially. that. Not Apparently, especially. they sense. I don't, care. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't care for horses. I think they're not of this earth. They I, know it. I think they're they're Satan's minions. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, they, yep. they can sense that you I'm think that. I'm pretty sure of that. No. <laughs> it's my belief, and I'm sticking to it. I'd like to know. I have many I questions. I dogs. Who, who was the first person that said, you know something? I'm going to ride that thing. The horse? I mean, that's an amazing thing if you think about it. The wild stallion. It's, Especially when they were, yeah, they were looking at wild yeah, at some wild, point, Probably some, indigenous peoples, I would think. Man, yeah. this would be a lot forget, easier. No saddles. Yeah, bareback. Nothing cinched up on there. Just bareback, baby. You know which president was the greatest horseman? Truman. Gerald Ford. George Washington. I'm going to guess George Washington is the correct answer. He was oh, considered okay. to be the greatest horseman. In How the do America. they know Jesus. for sure? Uh, because there are people there even then, even then, chick people horse? did something called writing it I don't down. I Think so. What's Washington that? would he that would could have been he right. would ride right into the bullets too. Written I, down. This is I just got Chernow's Washington, a gigantic. Uh, yeah. And I will read it, and uh, if he pro- this proves to uh, be true, I won't say anything. If it true proves to be false, I will let all of you. That's right. That's true. <laughs> it's true in that book. That's where I got it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. But he would ride right into the bullets. Is that an audio book? I love the audio book. They have it. They I know you audiobook. look down on that, but I really enjoy that. I, I really... <laughs> it's just you not sit in your focus. recliner yeah, and hard. listen to it on your No, headphones? I listen to it in the car. And oh, I'm out. Okay. The errands and stuff. The, the, the larger point is you don't like horses. I love horses. They're beautiful. Don't care for them. Have you ridden a horse before? Yeah, it oh. kicked me. You ever right. put a carrot it's in your mouth like... and put it up to the horse and had him kind of... No. No. Oh. I have no desire to French a horse. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. thankfully I don't have that either. I don't want a horse to have sex with me. I don't want to have oh. sex with a horse. Well, I'm not talking about wanna... sexuality. Don't take the whole thing. Gentleman Godiva over here. You're carrots. the one who talks to you. You want me carrots. to put a carrot, a phallic object in my mouth and uh, just offer just, it to the horse? No, just, to, just to demonstrate to the horse that you're friends. I don't. I think Christy's right. I don't think the horse knows what's up with me. That's yes. How, yeah, that's how deep my my fear. And maybe my it's irritation. your cologne. Do you wear a cologne? I don't wear a cologne. I have a body. Maybe wash. it's your uh, maybe it's your uh, un- underarm. Bo- yeah. Maybe it's my pheromone. You're not wearing glue, yeah. are you? You think I have se- <laughs> horses? horses yeah, they hate that. that. Yeah, Elmer's. <laughs> I always have a bottle of glue with me. <laughs> that's not good. Man. <laughs> wow. Now is the glue made out of everything left over or just the hooves? I, I don't know. Mm. Or is that? I just hope. Fake. I doubt it's even. I yes, doubt I, it's. Yeah, I hope it's yeah, just a. I think it's just a wives' tale, right? Or maybe it happened at some point. And my never-ending search for the real funny people in history. Who wrote Glue Factory for the name of a horse? <laughs> who, who wrote that down first? I'd like to know. And also, who who wrote Beans, Beans, the musical fruit? I mean, it, they get I thought no, my uncle did. They get no yeah. money. And then, I, I thought you did. That's right? a classic. Yeah. Uh, you that's and all, Barry Gibb, right? That's all. Yeah. Yeah. So, so back to our knife fight. What happened? This guy's getting a knife fight. They're okay. Oh, yeah. They lived. Oh, yeah. We better go back to this story. <laughs> According to police, the mm-hmm. two men in their 50s living near each other had an argument over noise. Police say the men fought, pulled out knives, and then both stabbed each other multiple times. That's craziness. Oh, hang on. Stabbed each other multiple times. <laughs> it's like the end of The Revenant. The men, <laughs> the men were hospital. Is there a better actor than Tom Hardy? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, he's great. The men were hospitalized and are expected to recover from their injuries. So you can get be stabbed and be okay, I guess, unless you hit a uh, major yikes, organ. Yikes, no thanks. Yeah. I'm surprised that other guy didn't pull out a knife. He did pull out a knife. I meant a gun. <laughs> One guy pulls the knife, the next guy pulls a gun, and I, I win. Oh, wait a second. There, there's been... Uh, I've never seen nobody so stupid to bring a knife to a gunfight. Uh, that's the thing. Oh, Coach, what are you doing uh, here? I'm working on the Max Scherzer. So what, what, what does he have? Right. Isn't the line something like, rules? Wait a minute, Butch. Rules in a knife fight. Well, I wasn't doing Butch. <laughs> what a classic. No, that's, a, that's more relatable. It's a classic scene from a great movie. More relatable than, than okay. uh, Duddy Kravitz so, uh, or uh, West get, Side Story? Uh, uh, Butch Cassidy. It's a, one of the most seen uh, movies of all time. Is that right? Yeah, an absolute classic. <laughs> the great Paul Newman. Uh, well, you're right on that. West Side Story, you're wrong, but you're right on Butch. Okay. Um, now, um, oh, uh, yeah, coming up in the c- news. No, coming up in sports. <laughs> yeah. There's more sports? Oh, Hang on. This... Yes, it's your story, so hang on. <laughs> it's a world record, and I know I've said this many times before, but this is is not worth <laughs> your listening or me reading. I want you okay. to, I, I'm trying to be totally honest. Can I give a hint? No. Okay. I appreciate your honesty. It's about an animal. 
there. Chick, can I be honest with you for a second? Certainly. What I am about to tell you okay. is absolutely worth your time. Oh, right. oh it has to yes. Do Talk with, to me, Dad. With grilling up the oh. finest meat oh. that you can have. Yum, yum. Food. Yum. Food. Oh. Omaha Steaks is what I'm talking about. It's the perfect time for fall grilling. Tailgating, cozy comfort food. Oh, ah, yeah. tis the seas. Omaha Steaks has all your fall cravings. 50% off site wide. A during... bowl of chili out there on the grill? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what wouldn't be bad is a bowl of, uh, or a, a nice slice of the meat lover's lasagna from That's Omaha right. Steaks mm. while you're grilling just to get, your... <laughs> to get you through the preparation. Yes. Because yeah. you're yeah. hungry. Yeah, they don't say to us, mention the lasagna, but we can't help ourselves. No, it's, it's so delicious. It's a but wonder, I'm sorry. Back to the text. And wonderful you can, add on. And you can add this meat to the, your chili, the home all steak. Yeah, of hamburger. course you can. For sure. 50% off site wide. You can do all of this for half the cost. It's up to you. Your favorite tender, juicy, extra age steaks like Christy, those butchers cut filet mignons. Mm. Go to omahasteaks.com today. Use code BTS at checkout. You're going to get an extra 30 bucks off your order. So you're already getting half off and then an extra $30 on top of that. With Omaha Steaks, the possibilities are endless. You heard us discuss a few. Endless flavor, endless value on incredible entrees, scrumptious sides. Oh my gosh, those potatoes all gratin. Ooh, I love them. A little pepper. Mm, I, I want seven of them now. Decadent desserts, so much more. All of them are 50% off during the semi-annual sale. And guess what? Every bite backed by their 100% unconditional money-back guarantee. Go to omahasteaks.com, shop all of your favorite uh, foods for half the price. Don't forget to enter promo code BTS at checkout. Get that extra 30 bucks off. But hurry, please. This semi-annual sale is only for a limited time. Minimum purchase may apply. Visit omahasteaks.com for details. You you heard me all, uh, get a little flustered there, mm -hmm. didn't you? You were excited. Yeah. Very, uh, too excited. There was a pause. There was, there was a pause. You said shop for all of your favorite your mouth was watered. Foods. Uh, yes, I did. Yeah, because yeah. it wouldn't be like shop for all of your favorite books at Omaha Steaks. No, no. No. The they, pause was silly. I should have said shop for all your favorites, but I only... You didn't. No. Okay. Write because that down. I, I got too flustered. Write that down for next time. Thinking about uh, all the, the goodies. Good. Thank you very much, Omaha Steaks. Uh, coming up, I'll tell you about uh, a way you can win a beautiful grill and uh, a way you can win a beautiful kegerator. This is the Bob and Tom Show. This is Jimmy... Vacations? Do you get? I mean, since you travel so much, Jim, I would yes. imagine that a vacation, a vacation would be, would be staying home. home. Yes. I know. Last summer, you had your. You went camping. Your does a semi disastrous camping, camping experience. You know, it's the my wife. I married this woman who loves to camp, and I'm <laughs> indoorsy. Yeah. You know, I'm say. I. Uh, she always brings up camping's a tradition in my family. I'm like, hey, it was a tradition in everyone's family till we came up with the house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My parents never took me camping. You know why? Because they loved me. <laughs> you know? If it's so great outside, why are all the bugs trying to get in my house? <laughs> How true. Oh, I'm with you on that. Happy camper. <laughs> Has anyone ever really been a happy camper? Because whenever we use that term, we're being sarcastic. Yeah. He is not a happy camper. <laughs> Well, why don't we just call him a camper? He's miserable. You know who's a happy camper? The guy leaving the campsite. <laughs> He's the happiest yeah. camper. He gets to take a shower. Yeah. It's a camping thing. Camping. Are you a shower man versus a bathtub man? I, I am a, I'm a neither. I'd rather do nothing. Yeah, just lay in no, bed? The, sh the shower, yeah, definitely. The bath thing, that seems like a lot of work. It does. That just seems, um, I don't know. You have I'm to just, wait. Yeah, it's just you gotta. Then you gotta figure out. You gotta stand up. Mm -hmm. I, you know, it's like once I'm standing, I don't want to have to, you know, uh, sit down and then stand again. I'm that lazy. <laughs> uh -huh. And chicks like, Brilliant. you are talking my language. I never talking. thought of that before. And when you stand up out of a bath, yeah. don't you have all the suds on you too? Yeah. You're sitting in all yeah. that. Then you gotta go take a shower to clean yeah. up. Then you have then to you rinse off. Take a shower. I don't understand. Then it. they're slippery. You, you, old people get themselves broken hips all the time in them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I they're hate bathtub showers more than anything. Relaxing. No, yeah. they're not. No. Yes, they are. Well, no, for me. Me and Mona primarily do physics experiments involving flatulence. You know, yeah. basic stuff. Oh, yeah. It really does bubble. How about that? <laughs> Hold a match to the surface of the water. That sort of thing. 
Uh, I would have never <laughs> thought of that. You know, I've not thought of that either. This is the first show now in a long time. Now you're going to want to take a bath. I'm going to have to take a bath to see if it works I have to take notes. You guys don't take baths with your significant others? Well, um, sure. I mean, I've done that. See? Not if you want them to stay your significant <laughs> others. <laughs> Honey, let's take a bath. Uh, uh, <laughs> why don't you do that? I got you got sports there. <laughs> you know what? You know what Christy wants? She wants a bubble bath. And some sodomy. <laughs> That's a good one. Whoa. Uh, whoa. No, no. <laughs> ding, ding. Oh. See, we have to explain. You have to be very careful that what we're saying. It's taken out of context. Family friendly show. That doesn't uh, work. See, people right. don't realize that chick, uh, Christy didn't actually say that. Chick and some sodomy. Well, who is that then? <laughs> Nobody. I mean, she said it in a different context. We were context. talking about something totally different. Mm -hmm. You have it on tape. Isolated. They, they, just you just keep playing it, right? Yes. I, I don't know what you're talking Do you see me moving? Christy, what do you and want some for sodomy. Christmas? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. so well, now, now, Jim, now you're playing. I want some no, nice... Don't play Christy the game. Christy wants some perfume. And some sodomy. <laughs> okay. Uh, wow. Uh, uh, do I have to come over there? I'm not feeling well. All right. That true. won't be on the TV show. No, no. 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 <laughs> Hi everybody, Chick McGee here from the Bob and Tom Show. I want to tell you about the NFL season coming up. We got together with the folks at Big Green Egg and each and every week, you're going to have a chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg during the Pigskin Pick'em program on the Bob and Tom Show. Knocking on my front door. I'm watching the game. It's a quarter to four. There's a tiny spider man saying trick or treat. I'm in my boxer shorts. All out of sweets. The scariest thing you've ever seen is a divorce guy with no idea. It's Halloween. Got no candy in the house, man, that's a drag. Cause baby Yoda's on my porch, holding the bag. I've got no Snickers, Reese's cups, or Hershey bars. I have a Chinese takeout and a couple cigars. The lights are off so I can't be seen. I'm a divorce guy with no candy, no girlfriend, no idea. It's Halloween. Toothpaste, vitamins, and pizza crust. Advil, Sudafed, and Cheeto dust. A fifth of Crown Royal and a couple of beers. Unpaid bills and a summons to appear. The scariest thing you've ever seen is a divorce guy with no candy, no girlfriend, no job, no idea. It's Halloween. Television. She's sexy. She's stacked. She's Jugs Judy. <laughs> this court is now in session. And before we get started, let's take a moment to let our bailiff introduce himself. Hi, I'm Bob Gavoya. <laughs> Jugs Judy. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Good music. This is nice. Turn that up. Somebody turn that up. Yeah. Here's Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. On stage one. It's yeah, baby. Christy. <laughs> Work that pole. <laughs> yeah. There's Pat Godwin on stage two. Ooh, I'm working it too. Work that pole. <laughs> Our DJ for the night is Josh Arnold. Spinning all your favorite lives. Yeah. That's right. Uh, there's Ace Cosby. Ace. Likes. Do you still go to strip clubs? Yeah, haven't been since like 99. No kidding? Yeah. Wow, I know how tough that was for you to give up. There was a strip club DJ in East St. Louis. Who, how, how about a hand clap for <laughs> Henrietta on stage two? Henrietta? <laughs> <laughs> I, they call her chicken lady. I, she was one of the older She's dancers. the Amish strippers. <laughs> <laughs> he always hand clap. How about a hand clap? Yeah, the Amish strippers. Watch her get down to her ankles. <laughs> what else would you clap if it weren't your hands? Yeah, we always got a kick out of that. <laughs> you know, if you sit... For any length of time, or really think about certain situations, you, it's really depressing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you ever say this like out? A strip club. Did you ever say this out loud, chick? Give me a hell yeah. 
Um, oh. No. I will though. I'm out. I'm out and about on Saturday. I'm going to try it. All right. I'm I'm give me a hell yeah. I will. I will look at everyone and say, yeah. "Give me a hell yeah." Oh, I bet you've done it. No. You've never. Well, you've never done that intro in a band or anything. I hate cliches like that. That Is one. That that's right? a classic. Mm. That's every strip club. That's DJ so cliche. Ever. It's perfect. But give yeah. me a hell yeah. I've never heard that yeah. strip club. Really? Oh my gosh. Uh. I, we heard of all those at those. Yeah, I, I did see the list of the worst songs to play at a strip club <laughs> for dancing. And number one was uh, The Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. I yeah, thought that was a, just you uh, being, being... No, funny. no, no, that was voted the that's worst. That's not bad to get a lap dance to because it's long. Yeah, well, <laughs> And if they charge by the song... Uh, seven minutes, yeah. I had a friend of mine who was a club DJ, and uh, I filled in for him for a couple hours one night, and... Uh, some of the girls were rude to me, so I would play longer songs to piss them off. <laughs> <laughs> they were rude to us. <laughs> a friend of ours uh, that used to work here became a strip club DJ until yes. he decided he'd rather not be breathing than do it. Uh, he now drives a truck. Uh, we have a Chick McGee at the Bob and Tom Sports Desk. Did you say you had one more sports? Uh, I do, but first, dear Bob, dear Bob and Tom, specifically Tom. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm very excited. This is from Brian. I'm very excited about the kegerator you all are giving away in connection with Orange and Souls. All right. I see it sitting in the corner. I'm a VIP watcher and listener. Um, I hope to win this fine device. Did you know, Tom, it is much more capable of doing uh, many more things than just beer? Okay. Oh, things you can get in kegs? Serving just about anything with a simple modification, Brian says. <laughs> Sparkling water, cold brew coffee is possible. Soups. <laughs> soups. soups? You can put what, soup. What, fishy swab? You can put soup and have it come out of a tap. Cold? No, 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 no. You can uh, have it uh, hot. It's a refrigerator. It's well, you don't, swab, you don't hook the As cold the part said. up. A few With modifications. Simple modification. Oh. And by the way, <laughs> chowder may be rough. Yeah, that's going to think. You don't well, want anything junky. Well, yeah, no yeah, dinty more yeah, beef right. stew. It's going to get <laughs> trapped said, in the tap. By the way, Tom, this does not mean putting Josh or Chick or Jess Hooker in charge to make er, to run the kegerator. <laughs> you just do a simple modification and you can do many, many things, inclu including what you just discovered. Cold brew. Mm -hmm. How about that? Well, Ice go. cold coffee. Oh, that'd be good. Well, now we have a special thing going on with. Uh, uh, what did you? What's the phrase you used? In connection with the kegerator. That's right. Um, uh, from Orange Insoles. It's the orangeinsoles.com kegerator, and we're giving this baby away. We asked you to um, tell us some of your Hollywood. Hollywood? Did I say that? Ha Halloween memories. Excuse me. Um, here we go. Trick or treating at the old lady's house next door. She always handed out ten cents of bagged pennies. Mm, okay. Yeah, I remember we had really? that lady. Remember that? Ten How long ago was cents? that? When ten cents was ten cents, I bet, right? No? But even if it, no one wants... Ten pennies? Change. <laughs> oh, that never bothered me as a kid. <laughs> what? You want yeah. candy. Well, uh, sure, but you but you also got plenty of candy. Uh, yeah, yeah oh, what? You got a good base going. You don't want filthy change that's God knows where it's been. Unless All you're... Right. Unless you're a single guy and not really prepared for Halloween, yeah, I can't like... imagine you looking around the house and wanting to give away change unless you <laughs> you really don't have any candy or, or anything like that. You, uh, okay. Are you, are you, you like that one, huh? Spoon feeding uh, the Mr. Um, Gunn? Thanks, okay. Josh. I don't. Well, don't while you have, have a bad enough day the way it is. Do you have a song about that? While you, while you get organized, Pat, I've got All a couple right. more of these. I was trick-or-treating back in the day. I went as McGruff the Crime Dog. Awesome. Yeah. That evening, my candy was stolen. Hilarious. Oh. Hilarious. Even though I was just 12 years old, I could appreciate the irony. The oh. balls to steal from McGruff. Oh. Wow, that's just awful. <laughs> Stealing balls, candy. Don't steal candy from kids. Yeah, that's awful. God. <laughs> um, one it's real year, easy, though. One year for Halloween, my dad and I made a paper mache Brutus the Buckeye head for our costume. Well, that's a great idea. Yeah, they did. This cool. year, my son and I are making a paper mache baby Yoda head for him. I've said oh. it. Passing on the tradition. Jay in Georgetown, Kentucky. Jay, you are the man. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'm old enough to remember when Brutus the Buckeye is not the sleek mascot you see now with the little squishy Buckeye head. He was, you'd see two little feet at the bottom, and it was a big round paper mache. <laughs> Hilarious. <buckeye. laughs> Hilarious. Would run around the field. People loved him. Too. Jay, you're a great dad, I can tell. Good for you, man. Don't forget um, the air holes. Uh, yeah, suffocation's really uh, You know something, Josh? I, 
think you're correct. Yeah. No, you're... I'm guessing Jay is probably... And the eye holes, do you want to say? Bright enough yeah. to <laughs> pop in air holes, eye holes. Well, why do you, why do you if, think uh, they, uh, if, if, Jay, if you hadn't thought of that yet. Uh, am I being a hole you, you can guy? You can thank Josh. Well, why do you think they put that warning on the dryer bags, you know? Yeah. 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 Dry, Somebody dry, tried to. Dry cleaning bags. Yeah. If you want to see some warnings, go look at a ladder. Oh, I know. <laughs> if you want to buy a new ladder, they can barely fit all of the legal crap on it. Uh, let's see. My boss had a Halloween party, so I decided to go as Baby Huey. <laughs> now, do you want to... Uh, Baby Hugh. I don't... Uh, was he a duck? duck. Wasn't yeah. he a duck? Was he Donald he was, I, Duck's I, son or I nephew? I think he was connected with Donald... Or was he? Or was he... Uh, no. He maybe was a he different... Was, different. Walter Lance yeah. stable, maybe. Oh, really? Maybe he was uh, the Woody Woodpecker. Wasn't there proud. a psychological... Uh, baby Huey? Yeah. He had a baby voice, but he was like 6'6". Six, six, Gigantic, naive duckling. But I yes. mean, there was like a psychological experiment done with a baby Huey, I think. Oh, it says, he goes, I wore an oversized diaper, a baby bonnet, yeah. a pacifier, and a cigar. Wow. That's funny. He looks funny, <laughs> baby uh, Huey. You're not here for the trick-or-treating, are you, pal? <laughs> <laughs> See, this, this is at his boss's Halloween party. Walked in the house and realized my wife and I were the only ones wearing costumes. Oh, no. There's about 10 people there, and I'm dressed as a baby. Yeah. That's Jeff in Barron, Wisconsin. Hey, Why uh, would you have a Halloween party and not have costumes? You're, you're too cool. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. This is no, I mean, that's just, uh, I feel bad for the guy. God, that's embarrassing. Hmm. Especially when you're dressed as baby Huey with an adult diaper on. Sure. Huh? Uh, well, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, where were we? Oh, uh, this is all about the kegerator. You can win this baby. Just go to bombandtom.com slash contest and tell us a little bit uh, about your Halloween. We'd love to hear about that, too. That's right. Uh, and then uh, while you're at it, don't forget we got week seven beginning tonight in the NFL. And for week seven, we, of course, have another prize. It's a beauty. It's the uh, it's the big green egg mini max. It's a beauty, Clark. Just pick the winners. You can be like Brad Graham. He won last week. Uh, and um, Brad is from Erie, Pennsylvania, and we're going to talk to Brad this morning. He's going to pick against Mr. McGee. That's right. In the famous yeah. shoe-in of the week. Step into the octagon. Now, remember, I'm I'm uh, relying on you three yes. to give me three teams, and those are the games I'm going to pick this weekend. I want you to pick the Browns-Colts game. And I'm going, other than Tom, I need you two people to <laughs> tell me. No. Okay. okay. All right, Browns and Colts are in. There you go. Is Mr. Watson playing yet? Uh, he's not. He's got a rotator cuff. Is there a list of uh, the a highest paid injury. players not playing in the NFL this year? Well, I think, first of all, the list would be too long. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> the NFL probably doesn't want to. Do you know during the early years of the NFL, they didn't want something called football follies to be released to the general public because they thought it cast uh, a non-professional a view of the league and that looked like these guys were silly and and didn't know what they were doing they didn't want the mistakes widely known and it's become the most popular nfl films ever released football, oh. it's football fun to watch. watch what is it uh, it's just you know sound effects and mistakes and some guy going blah, 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 and he's you know on the <laughs> sidelines you've never seen them you've never seen the guy who takes his helmet off and he's got this giant afro and you hear oh Oh, that, okay. <laughs> out of his helmet. Yeah, it's football folly. Also, in the early days, the guys would have regular jobs. That's you'd right. See, you'd see Lou Groza hauling refrigerators in the offseason. Oh. I think Donnie Anderson of the Green Bay Packers sold insurance in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And oh. he was he was a great running back. Oh. Uh, we return to the sports test now for an actual story. <sighs> yep, here we go. Remember what I said. Stupid world right. record. Josh, would you care to go over what I, uh, what I said before the break about this record? That it is not worth uh, our time or <laughs> energy. Or the paper it's printed I on. think both Josh and Ace will like it. Okay. A house cat mm -hmm. from the United Kingdom. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I need all the help I can get on this. <laughs> all right, we're with you. Has broken the Guinness World Record in the following category. The loudest purr, and this has to be worded exactly this way. Yeah. The loudest purr by a domestic cat per in living. Okay. All right. Because, I mean, obviously, if you've got a dead cat that purrs, ain't got, dead. Got, got quite a show. Right. <laughs> Sounds wrong. 14 year, old, 14 year old Bella mm. produced a purr that measured 54 to 59 decibels to achieve the record. I got it. You want to hear it? Yeah. Sure. You hear that? Yeah, I hear yeah. that. What am I, hard of hearing? Well, I am, but. 
The minimum that you had to achieve today was 50 decibels air weighted. That's right. I can yeah. now confirm that you achieved 54.6 decibels air weighted. Congratulations. You yeah, are a the world record. Uh, there you go. Now let's go have a pint, eh? How many lot. people record their cats per? <laughs> well, don't you worry about it. They get, they get, they're, they're cat owners. I do so business. Already, there's a desperation. It's quotient. supposed to be very uh, soothing. Yeah. I'm right? guessing this cat is cat well part. overweight. You think so? Uh, yeah, that's that's I don't know. The, Ace pi is, the picture. Uh, an insult for the cat. Big fat cat. He says. That's a happy cat. Is there a like sexual it. component of this? Is there such a thing as. What? <laughs> oh, boy. As perverts? Oh, I see. <laughs> I sure hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing arouses me now, like, I'll a, give you like a, a loud purring kitty. I'll give you a reference. Uh, Citizens Bank Park, when Schwarber hit the home run, they hit 108.6 decibels. Okay. Okay, and this cat just hit 55 decibels. Wow. Yeah, I have, a decibel, I have a decibel meter on my phone. Sure. Nerd. And... Uh, <laughs> I'll use it at concerts occasionally. Uh, right. Boy, that, that is a yeah. nerd. Why would you, do that? Huh? you know what? Well, you like that fun. If you were standing behind you at that concert, rock and roll, huh? you would look at whoever you are. Look at this guy. He's using a decibel meter. Boy, he re he's really rocking. Look yeah. at this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I was at a show at Madison Square Garden, and there was this ear piercing guy on stage, 120 decibels. That's, That's illegal. Loud. That's too loud. That's illegal, too. Well, I hope you that, tapped the, the shoulders Joel. of those around you. You know, this it, is illegal. It, it wasn't <laughs> Billy Joel. <laughs> doing. No, what was really illegal was the crappy music he was playing, but that's Who a different was story. It? Oh, please, uh, probably have, somebody don't. awesome. Christopher yeah. Cross. <laughs> <laughs> that would be too loud for Bruce Hornsby. Who was it? You have to tell us. <laughs> yeah, who was it? You can't tell us. I will not piss off half the people out there. I guess. <laughs> oh, okay. Billy Joel. Uh, he's one of these, he's a guitar player, and the, the whole band is quiet. He wanks it for about nine minutes all alone. <laughs> wanks it. It's just awful. Uh, what's his face? A banana pancake. Jack Johnson. Jack Johnson. No, it was not Jack Johnson. <laughs> he really he's jammed. Oh, he he hits so, those bongos. Uh, this um, this world's loudest cat. It's not his vocal though. It's now the loud. reason they say for a lot a living cat is there are two other cats that have the world record. They are now deceased. Can I step in here with my world record, please? I just want to tell Ace. I think he's right. <laughs> what? I can't tell from this picture. <sighs> well, of course, this cat That's looks bad. a little bit a little bit porky. Even though Bella holds the record for the loudest purr by a domestic cat. Living, the record title for the loudest purr by a domestic cat ever, still belongs to two other cats, Smokey and Merlin. Hmm. In 2011, Smokey recorded purring at the noise level of 67.8 decibels. Wow. I checked that that's as loud as a moped. Cool. Well, that's too... <laughs> <laughs> Four years later, Merlin right around the same decibels. There you go. Expert, that's pretty good, Christy. I love purring cats. Experts say that cats, in their purrs, uh, recreate the sound of a crying baby. And they, they do this because they know that humans will pay attention to that noise. Really? Like, yes. Isn't that insane? That so, is insane. So no, no. But that's... That's an animal that was sent here by Satan. Is what that is. <laughs> I have so a they question. don't do that in the wild like if you had wild that was cats? my question. Do tigers purr? Yes. Yes, yes. they do. Yeah. Tigers do purr. Do. Now, I'd be interested in how lions, loud. Lions purr too. How loud is that? I would Louder than that. Well, that's why it says you domestic close enough cat. to hear it. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, I think what's happening in this one is the, the cat is saying, get the microphone out of my face. I want to have a snack. Uh, I, I can't tell, Ace, if this cat's fat or not, the way the lady's holding it. So who knows? It looks like Have you seen the fun. lady who rescued a kitten? She thought it was a kitten. Oh, Turned no. out to be a black panther. Whoa! And she raised this cat. It's pretty amazing. I yeah. heard the cat loves her, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's the mama. cat and the dog, they get along. It's have like, you really? seen the videos? Yeah. For now. For yeah. now. <laughs> I was going to say, until we have the news story about her face being eaten off one night. No. There, there were two videos the other day of a dog uh, in different parts of the country. A dog brought home a baby bear. Oh, yeah? Okay. What? He knocks on the door, and the woman opens it. What have you got there? Oh, my God! <laughs> and then uh, somebody, another dog brought home, like, a panther or a lion or something. Oh, yes. And, yeah, they're at the door. What's wrong with dogs now? Ugh.
I no. don't know what to have. They're trying to Nothing wrong with dogs. help. Reach out. Uh, Spot, you have to return that now. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the mummy? Yeah, yes. When we come back, are we are we done with sports? Yes. Oh, thank you. Aren't you happy? Uh, coming up, we have a lot of sex news. Mm-hmm. Uh, sex and travel and uh, sex myths. Sex news. Sir, how do you feel about all this news we have? Uh, I want more sex. <laughs> okay. okay you know, we're, you're going to get it, buddy. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. I'll sing and play guitar live. All right. And the big band, of course, is on Memorex. Okay. And let's let's try it. What the heck?
Um, live in our studios. You took my breath away from the moment I first saw you. Will you marry me, Dolly? She said yes! She said yes! It's not a real person. It's not a real diamond. Real, natural, earthborn diamond. For your real love, from a real jeweler you can trust. Steven Singer Jewelers. <laughs> I have dog, dogs playing dog poker. Door, I have three of the dogs playing poker on the wall. You have dogs playing poker on yeah. the wall. The big yeah, velvet the painting. painting. Is it not a tapestry? The velvet. They're not velvet. Is it no. a tapestry? I do have dogs playing poker. A tapestry. One of them, but no, they're not the tapestry. Oh, mm -hmm. I uh, the, the other tapestry that I gave you of my face. It has actually uh, my comforter. I have that. That's in my living room. Can I tell you this honestly? In tr all truth, my comforter is at the dry cleaners right now, and my your tapestry is on my bed right now. I slept oh, underneath God. it last night. <laughs> is he facing up or down? He's facing down. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sorry, I've never oh, slept better. Yeah. Really? My most recent marriage was a disaster. It made the wreck of the Edmonds Fitzgerald look like a fender bender. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sorry to hear that. Uh, hello. And you remember Lord's famous line about uh, gun control. More uh, ah, yes. yes. It, it, the relationship taught me a lot. It mm -hmm. taught me they won't sell you a handgun if you're crying. <laughs> <laughs> Morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. I can hear you. Oh, no. You're talking out your ass again. Bob and the show. I'm telling you. Go see it. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Josh Arnold at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. And right now, Chick, Steven Singer Jewelers proving how worthless lab-grown diamonds are by giving away a free one-carat lab diamond with every engagement ring purchase. While supplies last, purchases necessary. Visit IHateStevenSinger.com for more details. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello. I've not forgot about the single guy getting ready for Halloween. All teed up. All right. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Grizzle. Thank you very much, Chick. Uh, uh, we had this, uh, the world's loudest living purring cat, a house cat, kitty, right. kitty cat. Oh. Uh, this says, not all cats can purr. Huh? Cats that can roar, such as tigers, jaguars, and African lions, Cannot purr. Oh, is that right? Huh. Well, I, what? I, I've seen. Uh, have they? I don't know. I'm just put trying. sound effects on these nature yeah. shows. I'm yeah. Watching? Um. Huh. Certain big cats do purr. I, this doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying, just trying to do a little homework here. Well, on, as Pat Godwin said last break, uh, do we, when we were asking if these big cats purr, Pat said <laughs> nobody gets close enough to find yeah. out. <laughs> if you do. Well, hey, Richard, why don't you go measure the purr on that lion? Yeah, huh? Yeah. huh? <laughs> <laughs> try, try getting him mad. Hey, by the way, you got life insurance, right? Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> you ever make a pussy purr there, uh, Pat? Oh, back oh. in the day. Oh, not yeah. for a while. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I doubt oh. that. I bet you're a, a very... You have a girlfriend. Yeah, I... but I'm old in the tooth, though, you know. Oh, oh. the tooth. Oh. Long in the tooth. Yeah, <laughs> no, I'm old in the tooth. Oh, that's decayed, that's... and it's not long anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of short. Oh, God. I, I thought we were going to get a song out of him. What, so uh, did I. What something happened? Something about Halloween. We were talking about someone sent us a story in, an old lady in their neighborhood when they used to trick-or-treat gave out 10 pennies. cents in pennies. Yeah. Yeah. Very generous of her. And uh, we thought, well, that can't be right. That sounds like something a single guy would run around his house giving away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, Halloween took him by surprise. <laughs> Give the kids single cigarettes. <laughs> there you go. Smoke up, kids. <laughs> Smoke them, you got them. That's right. And you want a match? <laughs> Pat, what have you got? Who's that knocking on my front door? I'm watching the game. It's a quarter to four. There's a tiny Spider-Man saying, trick or treat. I'm drunk in my boxer shorts. <laughs> All out of sweets. The scariest thing you've ever seen is a divorced guy with no idea. It's Halloween. <laughs> Got no candy in the house, man. 
That's a drag. Cause baby Yoda's on my porch holding a bag. I got no Snickers Reese's cups or Hershey bars. I have Chinese takeout and a couple cigars. The lights are off so I can't be seen. I'm a divorce guy with no candy, no girlfriend, no idea. It's Halloween. I've got toothpaste, vitamins, and pizza crust. Advil, Sudafed, and Cheeto dust. A fifth of Crown Royal and a couple of beers. Unpaid bills and a summons to appear. <laughs> the scariest thing. You've ever seen uh, this a divorce guy with no candy, no girlfriend, no job, no pants, no idea. It's Halloween. <laughs> Mommy, that guy smelled funny. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Uh, now, we, we have uh, left the world of sports. Yes, we have. And we have a turned over We have way. not played the outro yet, though. Oh. Oh, hang on The a official outro. All right, all right. I'm over here working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This is what you farted for. Atta girl. Wherever you go, whatever you do, always be a good sport. Kristen. Thank you, Finn. A new TikTok trend has social media users trying out so-called dimple makers. Hmm. They use a device that has a curved wire and marble-like balls on each end. Marble-like marble -like balls. Marble-like balls. <laughs> and you slip it on both sides of your cheek. So okay. you put one ball on the inside, one ball on the outside. So this is strictly for facial cheeks. Yes. Ah, all right. no, no ass cheeks? To compress the skin and create a dent. I've never seen a dimple on an ass cheek. I've seen a dimple ab above the ass cheeks. Mm -hmm. but yeah, that's on. true. That sure okay. is a dimple pleasing. on the ass cheek is called really cellulite. Is. Totally different. Experts say they could still cause permanent oh, yeah. nerve damage and scarring, though. <laughs> oh, I got plenty of it. Dr. <laughs> Alan Matarazzo from the American Society of Plastic Surgeons says the device could put pressure on nerves for too long and lead to paralysis in the upper and lower lip. Hey, how do I look? <laughs> you know we do well. Honey, you're beautiful, okay? You sure are lovely. I uh, always love you. I always love you. <laughs> I do it, what we did when we were kids. Get a BB gun and shoot him in the face. What? Okay, that'll, get, that'll, that'll create a dimple for at least for a little bit. For a while. Wow. Uh, if you're getting your medical advice on TikTok. Wait a minute. I'm not going to let that go. <laughs> Did you That's shoot a childhood friend with a no, BB No, but if you, if you ever got hit with a BB in the face, you get a dimple there. Unless you pull, Did you get hit by out. a BB before? Oh, I've been hit by a BB. Well, it Absolutely. breaks the skin, I would think. No, no, no. Not no. always, but it can. Depends yeah. how close they are. You may, uh, how many times you pump it, right? You have one of those guns? Yeah. You, do, it's, uh, you don't want to be shooting BBs at people. Remember, Ben Stiller still had a BB in his hand from when Gene Hackman shot him with a... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Royal Tenon Bombs. That's right. <laughs> so, anyway, once again, TikTok. No. Well, uh, don't no give yourself. You don't need a dimple. No, Christy. And by you... the way, ladies, cellulite, not unattractive, in my opinion. There's me, nothing wrong with to it. To me, it's a sign it. of there's some stuff to grab right really? there. Really? Yeah. There you go. Uh, Christy, you just have the one dimple. Mm -hmm. Now it's kind of like a crease because I'm old and it just kind of fell. <laughs> <laughs> no, you you can still. Hey, here's absolutely. a dog making a sound with a cardboard paper too. <laughs> no, that dimple is still oh. adorable. Eh, I have one. How about above the end? Touched by an angel? No, mm -hmm. none by. No, I don't have those. I wish you I did. You could do a t one of those one of those uh, TV things, The Dimple Life with Christy Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> That's very funny. Hi, I'm Christy, and I, I have one dimple. dimple. Life. Let's talk to other people with dimples. Yeah. Uh, uh, caller, in, caller seven. What? I went into the car rental place, yeah. and I I wanted to rent a car, and they wouldn't. They didn't have any. Then I went in and showed them my dimple. Uh, All of a sudden, they had many many cars. <laughs> Doors open. Stuff like that. Oh, I, uh, yes. I have a confession. Life. To make. What? I did not hate the simple life with Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie. I it's never saw right. an episode. I found, I found it to be fairly entertaining. Yeah. Really? <laughs> I'll tell yeah. you. I'll, I'll even make a bet. Uh, I will confess that I pretty much love the Commodores and Lionel Richie. All of it. Well, I, well, I love sure. that. Too. Oh, I love yeah. it. What does yeah. that have to do with simple life? Oh, Nicole, Nicole Richie. Oh. Richie's easy. Yeah. Like a Sunday morning. Oh, yes. That is good Are stuff. You kidding me? Very good stuff, yeah. Very good. I'm a Philip Bailey guy. Oh. Well, he sings too high for me. 
He sings too high. That's his problem. Oh, really? He sings too high. He needs to sing normally. (laughs) (laughs) Really? Sing normally. Hey, Philip, sing regular. (laughs) I know. Don't don't sing beautifully. (laughs) Okay, never mind. This ain't it, all right? And ladies, we're going to like you with or without dimples. Yeah, please don't. You don't need to go to TikTok and figure out. You're fine. Attendance. Stop it. Enthusiasm. That, that, that right. goes a long way. Yes, sir. Yep. Really? Pop that bra off. Yes. No, you pop that bra off. No one's going to care if you've got <laughs> 40 dimples. <laughs> right, Josh? I would care if a woman took her bra off and there were 40 dimples on her boobs. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, are they, what are your implants? Golf balls? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have so many dimples there? <laughs> what the hell is going well, on? Fix that, good ladies. Is that what you call the... <laughs> The uh, on golf balls are those called dimples? Yes. No, there's actually are a they? name. I thought yeah, they, they were are. dimples. Yeah, they are. They're dimples. Oh, that's I, what um, I thought. I think there's a name for there that. There is. There's yeah, scientific. Uh, how many dimples on a golf ball makes it fly farther? Right. And yes. there was a there was a thing where they uh, some guys made um, baseball bats that, that they, were dimpled. They dimpled them like like uh, go, uh, golf In, balls. Increased bat speed. They were incredible. Yeah. They, they don't let you use them apparently. Uh, coming up in uh, the news, Chrissy Lee. Oh, we have vac- uh, vacation sex in the news. We have seniors having sex. Does that help with your dementia? We have an illegal strip club at the house next door. Seniors in high school or seniors in life? Seniors in life, not in high Elder. school. Elder. Yeah, the word seniors is... I always I really hate senior citizens. It sounds like you're in some militia like of old men. <laughs> hey, hey, I forgot my musket, Joshy. <laughs> you might have to find another place to put your kids' um, lovely artwork from school because refrigerators are changing. Oh, I hate that. I told you my last the refrigerator I got, I had a hell of a time finding the metal front to put magnets in. Uh-huh. That's, That's the a story. Problem. We'll yeah. find out about I that found more. One. Everybody relax. Oh, I did. Oh, good. One. good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it uh, is it olive green? <laughs> no, it's uh, stainless steel. <laughs> like hey, we American. had harvest gold. You shut up. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Those are those are a little dated. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a hold of us. Call, fax, mail, or email. Get all the contact. Burnham is our guest, and he uh, has a uh, little tour going. We'll give you some of those dates in a second. Go ahead, Bo. Every time I go to dinner, seems like I'm getting a little bit thinner. I'll sit down at the breakfast table. I can talk while they're not able. When I look at them, I find there's a single question on their mind. I wish I could go back to the way it was. It's not easy now because... Yeah. My whole family thinks I'm gay. I guess it's always been that way. Or maybe it's because of the way that I walk makes them think I like boys. Oh my. The goddamn question just won't go away. And I get asked every single day. But the way they ask it is uh, not a disguise. Like, uh, how was your day? Do you like to kiss guys? <laughs> this is the worst, baby. This was my fear. Now their opinions are crystal clear. Because my whole family now is shocked. I'm in the closet and the door is locked. Well, now my glory days are gone. I was John Elway. Now I'm Elton John. Well, my whole family now suspects that watching SpongeBob had signed. Effects. I'm not gay, and that's what I said. If I'm gay, hey God, strike me dead. <laughs> that's, a, that's a joke. <laughs> Just because I'm afraid of the snow, where my favorite color is the rainbow. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh-oh. This is the worst, baby. This is my fear. Now their opinions are crystal clear, yeah. Because even my boyfriend thinks I'm gay. I'm just. Oh, God. <laughs> you all probably think I'm gay. Man, this song is counterproductive. <laughs> 
la 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 <laughs> because my whole family thinks I'm gay I said what did they know anyway you gotta look right through the haze easy bake oven was just a phase and my whole family thinks I'm queer that is all I ever hear but I've been as straight as a ramp if you don't count Bible camp, <laughs> Bible camp. I'm not gay I swear kind of <laughs> as, as, Bo Burnham. As, Walking. I have lower back pain, some uh, foot discomfort. So you're just rolling around? Yeah. There are better options. You need to try orange insoles. Orange insoles? Yeah, check those out. Proper support for your feet. You're gonna have arch yeah. support. It's got that deep heel cup. These do feel better. All right. Who needs you? Not me. Orange insoles will help you feel better and do more guaranteed. Get your orange insoles today and step into a world of comfort. Ladies, to notice a bulge that rivals those old Jim Palmer ads in Sports Illustrated. <laughs> Thanks to this, I can achieve that look in just a few short weeks. From the makers of miracle Grow, it's the Pubador. <laughs> the Pubador starts at the root system, giving your patch a major poof that only the latest in Frigamol technology can provide. Wow, chick. Is that an airbag in your pants? <laughs> or are you just happy to see me? Let's just say my curly fries have gone home style. Oh. The Pubador is a simple three-step system. First, apply the Miracle Mix to desired region. Place those puny pubes in curlers and then let the Pubador leave you high and dry. <laughs> Wow, it looks like a blooming onion. <laughs> the Cubador, now available at the Bob and Tom oh, Personal yeah. Care Outlet Mall. Warning, not intended for beards, backs, or buttocks. Ask for the Pubador by name. Pubador. Hi, this is comedian oh, Tim Cavanaugh, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Well, comedian Geechee Guy has joined us in the interview loft. Geech. Hi. Hey. Hey. Uh, Geech is a tall man. You are uh, originally a, uh, a guy that gained a little bit of fame on Star Search back in the day. Yes, a little bit. Uh, you, did, you did not win, but you didn't, came very no, close. I, didn't didn't, how, how? I don't want to get too famous. I don't want to get so famous that the guy who shoots me gets famous. That's <laughs> Good famous. Point. That's yeah. right. That's very uh -huh. that's, uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. that's, uh -huh. I'm with you there. I got you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> how well, well put. Yeah. <laughs> so that is I interesting. Agree. Yeah, we don't want to see you get shot no. either. No. That no. Would be, no. That would be bad. Um, what else is new in your life? You still married? Yeah, yeah. Although... Um, my wife's on a cruise right now. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Without you? Without me. Yeah, so that's okay. But I used to go How out convenient. with her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well. she was with her, with her um, girlfriend from high school. Mm. Uh -huh. well, that's mm -hmm. nice. Steve. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm uncomfortable. Yeah, I, wow, Hello. we all are. Okay. <laughs> all right. His name isn't <laughs> Steve Licker. They just called him that. Yeah. Joined in the studio by comedian Darren Carter. Man, I'm telling you, styles have changed. You know, gangster rap is popular. And, and say, I can't even fake it. You know, how come I going to fake like I'm in a gang? How scary would my gang be? You know, 15 redheads coming to your neighborhood, you know, out there covering in sunscreen, you know, you know be like wiping it on, talking about, stop pushing me, Trevor. You know, Damn it, it's so hot out here. You know? you know, our little gang hand sign would be like, you know when you hold your hand above your eyebrows trying to make sunglasses? Yeah. yeah. Squinting our eyes. You know? We wouldn't be talking about west side, east side. We'd be like, hey, well, let's go inside. <laughs> shade. Yeah, shady. That's what we'd be on the shady side of the street. We'd only be in neighborhoods with big trees, and we'd be like, shady side, fool. You know? <laughs> Fifteen redheads talking about shady side. We stay inside because we get some bird when we go outside. Shady side! <laughs> Bob and Tom. Uh -huh. You know what I'm talking about. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin. Hey, chick. 
His shirt matches his hair today. Oh, I forgot. It's very nice. Uh-huh. Thank you. You're welcome. There's Josh Arnold. Hi there. He's at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. Buddy. Yeah, we got to hear that joke of the day any uh, time. Uh, n- never. I'm Chick McGee. <laughs> and here's uh, Tom Griswold. A couple quick things. Um, we have a uh, week seven in the NFL starting this evening. And you have an opportunity to uh, take advantage of your uh, your skill set if that happens to be picking games. Or even if you're just, it could be just dumb luck. Pick the winners. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest. What's at stake? The Big Green Egg Mini Max. Each week we give one away. We're giving one to Brad Graham from uh, his uh, skill last week. He got 14 of 15 games, and uh, as, oh, as did six others. But he won the tiebreakers. Be part of it. As Chick would say, get involved. Get involved. Bob and Tom slash contest. And we're going to be talking with Brad Graham, last week's winner, from Erie, Pennsylvania. We'll talk to him, and uh, he's going to pick with the shoe-in of the week coming up with Chick. Right now, I look over that way. It's Christy Lee. What's going on? Well, more good news about sexual activity as it relates to aging. There is a growing body of evidence that sexual satisfaction among older adults may delay or even prevent cognitive decline. Mm, So is a great sex life the medicine for Alzheimer's. Dr. Allison Smith at the University of Kentucky sought to explore changes over time in long-term cognitive status in relation to intimacy and sexuality in older adults. They collected baseline intimacy and sexuality survey data from 155 participants, and they found participants with greater sexual satisfaction were less likely to develop mild cognitive impairment or dementia in the future. There you go. Mm. What's this in my pocket? My penis. <laughs> thought I misplaced it. Do you know there are there are gentlemen out there right now? Yes. They have fashioned their pants so that their penis can come through a pocket and they can reach into their pocket no. and, and touch it. Do no. you know that? that? No. That happens right now. <laughs> There's a guy waiting for a coffee in line. Yeah. With his, Got hand his hands on his... in his pocket and his and hands on his... No one's the wiser. No one's the wiser. So don't put change in that pocket. He's exactly. done some it'll, it'll fall out. Yeah. yeah, the bad news is there's a hole in that pocket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, the good so, news is there's a hole in that pocket. The, the, the point, the point of the story, though, is if you're sexually active, uh, cognitive decline, as they call it, uh-huh. it seems to be less likely to take place. That's okay. what that's they a, say. That, that's a pretty solid argument. Uh-huh. Hey, it's baby. better than working crossword hey, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby, we either do this or I'm going to forget what your name is. <laughs> <laughs> I Pat, 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 when you complete it, do you shout out bingo? Occasionally. Yeah. Okay. I thought you yelled Yahtzee. I thought that. that I occasionally good. scream jackpot. I change it up. <laughs> jackpot? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Another survey out uh, there. I'll yell, I did it! <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. Another survey out there examined couples' sexual habits while traveling. This poll found that 80% of people believe sex is better away from home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's absolutely true. Mm-hmm. Well, you don't have the distractions at home. I mean, yeah. if you're traveling. These aren't my curtains. Oh, yeah. Well, what we are can, you we doing? We can use these to... <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Tom's, Tom's partying. Yeah. He's, yes. he's getting down with his lady. What? What's that old joke where you know, I, I tell you what drives her nuts is when I wipe my on the curtain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy, she goes crazy. Eighty-five percent of respondents said they tend to be more adventuresome when intimate on vacation. Seventy percent of couples are open to exploring new facets of their relationships while traveling. Interesting. Hmm. That's meaningless. <laughs> what, what, what? Do you, what, what do you, do you mean? mean? <laughs> Just well, totally dismissed. That's just corporate mumbo jumbo. I don't think so. Maybe they met uh, a strange woman new, at the bar. New facets of our. If, 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 sure, come on. The, the thing is, you, you're relaxed. Maybe you got some sleep for a change. Yes, but Had you a couple cocktails. You haven't been. You haven't had a vacation sort of state of the union that happens on vacations every now and again. Are you, hey, so how are how are things? We don't get a chance to talk away from uh, the hustle and bustle. Are you happy? Is or you or you go on vacation and you get a really good look at it. Why don't you lift up that bustle and I'll hustle on in, huh? <laughs> bustle? When did this what year no are you wonder, having sex? No wonder new facets are being explored with a miscreant like you yourself. Think, <laughs> you think William Powell's Life with Father is a documentary, don't you? Yes, I do. Okay. I'm sorry. So what else Wait a minute, you have a union speech... Are 
a State of the Union I'm not speech? saying every time, but it's happened. Yeah. Okay. So are things good? How are you feeling? What's what's new? I don't Would think I've like... ever had one of those in my life. Oh, great. Yeah. They're hotel, great. Hotel, hotel well, why don't you ever... do it? Pretend, you're, pretend you guys are a couple. <laughs> okay. You ever cut okay. that uh, dead weight you just married loose? Uh, Josh is your man. No, pretend, I'm happy. Uh, Just pretend you're having a State of the State with uh, with Christy Lee. Oh, boy. What a great vacation, huh? Oh, All yeah. included. Boy, all love inclusive it. Uh, resort Yeah, here. could you give me another Mai Tai, please? Sure. Well, yeah, except yeah. for that section where you tried to print something and uh, just oh, it was printed for the whole weekend. <laughs> that, that itinerary did that, that was kind of a lot of screaming. Anywho, uh, oh, dear, now that yes. we're alone, you know, uh-huh. the kids are, aren't here and uh, our work is away mm-hmm. and all that. How are things? Are you, are you feeling good? Are you happy with how stuff is? Uh, uh, yeah. In fact, um... You can eat that was... piece of pizza? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> huh? That would you be... You that? <laughs> you know. That don't, would don't be... Don't play a long <laughs> Have you ever dipped a piece of pizza in butterscotch pudding? Have, Have you, you done ever that? done that? Have you done that? Don't grab me a bowl of pudding. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> no. Is that no, how we're going to expand That's our That's what he wants to do. No. <laughs> I remember he's the guy that asked me to do this. <laughs> I always forget he's setting me up for self-bullying. <laughs> Nobody's better at it. Oh my God. And then you just resign to it, and then you bully yourself. It's just it's a, oh. a, a true monster. You are a monster. You should have been the monster in Alien, not that yeah, thing that they found. So I'm sorry. So Is there anything you'd like to do on this vacation that maybe we haven't done before? Uh, how do you feel about uh, butt? Uh, <laughs> I want more so. What? Who's your butt? Uh... <laughs> Oh, I'm the one sabotaging the relationship. I know you're sitting on your... Uh, <laughs> you can stand up and come over here. Uh, uh, you know, we can eat at the bar. Oh you can God. stand there and eat. <laughs> hey, when it comes to enhancing a romantic experience on vacay, poll respondents said their preferred accessories... Are they enhancing it? Enhancing. <laughs> I'm going to kick you out. I know. I, know. I, know. I deserve it. So they're on vacation, having yes. great sex. And they're and bringing accessories with Okay, them. what kind of accessories? 50% said they bring a lubricant. Ah. 50% say they like to uh, play sex games. Sex mm. games. What are yeah. sex games, sex games? I'm sorry. What? That's a good song. Yeah. Sex bomb. What, hide and seek the salami? What's I a don't sex know. Game? What is a sex you game? you brute. What's a sex game? What's a sex game? Oh, like that you buy at the store where you spin and you no, have to do... You can uh, you, stuff. You play, you play yeah. states, right? States? You What's put your states? hand on her and uh, as, soon as, you, as soon as she guesses the state you're thinking of, you have to take your hand off. <laughs> That's right. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I missed something. Where does the where does the hand go? Now the key is. Well, nowhere, nowhere. You know, provocative. Uh, you start left breast. The key yeah. is if she nails the state. If if right. on guess number one, right. yeah, right. She guesses the state you're thinking of. You pretend it's not the state you're thinking. That's exactly right. And you let her keep guessing as you roll. There's many your... a fool out there who went, oh, you're right, Tennessee. Oh, oh, yeah. hell. oh hell, it's Iowa. You're right. No, don't do that. Just no. Isn't this the game guessing. you're supposed to spell each state with your tongue? No. And see if she can figure out what you're spelling? That's the alphabet. That's the alphabet. And that's when you're going. No, you go through the whole state. Down. Wow. No, that was Oklahoma. Not Ohio. <laughs> Some of the other accessories you got the brought, right. brought on vacation. <laughs> Lingerie and sex toys. Okay. Among the settings available to amorous oh, I slow couples. Slow down for a second. Are you, uh, Josh, are you a lingerie fan? Uh, not particularly. I'm not against it, but it doesn't do much for me. Would you consider trying it on? Uh, oh, in that case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. I do enjoy the, the feel of a silky teddy. Uh-huh. <laughs> My body. Why wouldn't you? It's very nice. <laughs> Went to Lane Bryant. Uh, I got a. You guys don't what? have nice stuff like that. Just, oh, uh, Lane Bryant. Lane Torrid. Bryant. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh. I'm not a lingerie fan, but I am a robe fan. You know yeah. what? Yeah. Torrid like is a lot hipper. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yeah. What's Torrid? It's uh, also uh, for. Uh, uh, bigger, plus bigger, size women, yeah. yes, no, but a little a more hipper, skimpy stuff. For, no, I've hipper. gotten in trouble for calling it tore it once before. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did you tear it off, <laughs> or did it rip when she put it on and breathed? That's the that was, oh my that was the joke I was going for yeah. go. with, oh. with my date at the time. <laughs> 
Some say first, others say last. <laughs> Could have been worse. Could have said uh, tubby. Or, or I was, uh, she wasn't of a particular oh, size. Oh, okay. I just okay, said, hey. Oh. Well, I'll, We're going to have to come back with more okay, of this. Okay, on a, on a different note, I want to remind you that our friend Bill Burr, the comedian Bill Burr, made a movie. And um, it uh, features uh, Bobby Cannavale and um, Bokeem Woodbine. The it's called... Bokeem Woodbine, who's amazing. He's a great actor. One of my favorite actors, Tom. Bokeem Woodbine. Uh, most recently seen in... Uh, he was in a Fargo, I believe. And, uh, oh, he's been in many, many... He was in uh, uh, Titanic. What? And, uh, <laughs> All your favorite movies. Uh, uh, That's Bokeem Woodbine. He was on one of the lower decks. <laughs> yeah, he would have been underwater. I, I'm sorry. The point is, the movie is called Old Dads, and uh, Bill Burr, like me, an old dad. So he's writing from experience. Old dads, um, what do these guys have in common? Well, they're all old dads, of course. Find out what's going on with Bill Burr and old dads on Netflix. It's a new comedy exclusively on Netflix. It's, of course, called Old Dads. Three best friends who are... Doing the same thing. They're tackling the various aspects of fatherhood later in life. The results are hilarious, of course, with Bill Burr involved. And like I said, Old Dad's exclusively on Netflix starting tomorrow, starting Friday. So check out Old Dad's with Bill Burr, Bobby Cannavale, and Bokeem Woodbine. What a beautiful name. Isn't that great? Okay. Uh, coming up, we have more sex, sex, sex. And Al Jackson. Not necessarily sex with Al, but... You never know. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. But I was just talking about things that are disappearing. Like the, the sound of a typewriter is going away. I get it. I mean, I understand all this stuff. But like that, that little ding when you pull in the gas station. If you're under a certain age, you have no idea what we're talking about. Right. How true. Um, just things. Remember when they used to give you all kinds of things when you got gasoline, like glasses? That's what Bill was talking about. Yeah. yeah. Incredible stuff. Even, yeah. Even albums and stuff like that. I mean, it, it, I guess yeah. I guess if you went to school at a certain age, you wouldn't remember what uh, albums were or certain things. I mean, I, I saw a list of those things the other day with people that have. They're played. all disappearing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Customer, customer service. Yeah. <laughs> totally yeah. Gone. Exactly. You know, look, customer <laughs> service now is. Everybody can understand, but nobody can help you. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I understand, sir. Yes, I, I, I know. There's nothing we can do. That's mm -hmm. just how. I was on a plane, and they had the intercom turned all the way up to, like, 10, and it's right above me, like, blowing yeah. out uh, my eardrum. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I asked the stewards, I go, is there, any, is there any way you can turn it down? She's like, no, I'm sorry. There's, there's, not, there's nothing we can do. It's like, really? <laughs> they installed an intercom at, at 10 without a volume? There's no yeah. volume. They're going to listen to it, and they're going to deal with it. That's how uh, we're doing it on this airline. Yeah. That's right. And I hate flying. Uh. I hate flying like Nigerians hate spam filters. You know what I'm saying? There's a... It's Josh, and of course... Hi, Chick McGee, everybody. Your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg for Bob and Tom at Big Green Egg. Each week, someone will win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. It's the Bob and Tom Show Pig Skin Pick, empowered by the Big Green Egg. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest on the computer. And <laughs> Is that where you go? Are we eligible? Now, the comedy duo of Abbott and Costello are well known for their classic routine, Who's On First? Mm -hmm. But this, too, is hopelessly out of date. Here's my version with the help of uh, Mr. Dean Metcalf. Okay. Hey, Abbott! I'm the new team doctor. You being the manager, you got to tell me what drugs the different players are taking. Uh, certainly. Well, uh, who's on roids? What's on cocaine? I don't know's on meth. That's what I want to find out. I say who's on roids, what's on cocaine, and I don't know's on meth. Are you the manager? <laughs> yes. Well, then who's on roids? Who? I mean the fella's name. Who? The guy on roids. Who? <laughs> what is the name of the guy on roids? <laughs> what is on cocaine? <laughs> no, I don't know what's on cocaine. <laughs> no, he's on meth. <sighs> <laughs> Look, do you know who's on roids? I'm telling you. Who? The fellow on roids. Who? What is the name of the guy on roids? <laughs> what is on cocaine? I don't know. He's, He's on meth! <laughs> <laughs> there I go. Back on meth again. All right. Now calm down. Calm okay. down. Listen. 
Who comes up to me, mm -hmm. tells me he wants me to shoot him in the ass. Mm -hmm. I take the syringe, fill it with roids. Mm -hmm. I shoot who in the ass? There you go. That's the first right thing you've said all day. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you know the players? Forget the players. I need some heroin. What did you say? <laughs> I need some heroin. That's our shortstop. Why I order. <laughs> End scene. End scene. Paul Mercurio. packed meals delivered to your door ready in just two minutes no prep no mess head to factormeals.com slash bob and tom 50 and use the code bob and tom 50 to get 50 percent off the code bob and tom 50 at factormeals.com slash bob and tom 50 to get 50 percent off Think you know your pro football and want to put your knowledge to the test? Then play Pigskin Pick'em every week at BobandTom.com. This is your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. Just pick the winners of this week's pro football games and you could win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. Head to BobandTom.com slash contest and play Pigskin Pick'em. And don't miss the Chick McGee shoe in of the week, Thursdays on the Bob and Tom Show. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Don't, 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 don't. The essential morning radio. Don't. This is Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7, 24-7. Morning, Bob and Tom Show. Yes, uh, if I could just have a few minutes of your time, I'd like to speak with you today about the joys of water sports. <laughs> is this Bob and or Tom? This is, uh, yeah, this is Bob. Yeah, Tom, uh, yeah. Perhaps you already own a boat. However, this is a wonderful opportunity for you to upgrade your boat. Shut up, Ryan. I read the script all right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick. Hey, there's Josh Arnold. Hello. At the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. There's Ace Cosby. Hey, buddy. He made it in today. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom. So behind the scenes, before we get to our guest, uh, Al Jackson, uh, Chick comes in this morning. Uh, it's about 45 minutes before the show starts. and Screams for me. Chrissy. Well, that was 10 minutes later. Yeah, oh. I, I'd already yeah, yeah, wor yeah, worried. Chick comes in oh. because he goes, Ace isn't here. And what I do you mean? Think I, I, did I, haven't, I haven't seen Ace. So, okay. so I said, well, maybe he's... Uh, he's never late. Is what yeah, that's said. the thing. So I said, well, I'll, I'll call him. Mm -hmm. And I call and there's no answer. And then... No answer. Chick goes, God, he's probably dead on the floor. To oh, God! <laughs> what had happened was oh. he did his, I'm always right. Uh, huh? I'm superior. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, snot face, at a bar. And someone beat him to death <laughs> is what I, I think's happened. Okay. So... <laughs> Then all of he's a sudden, panicking. So we're, so we're going to do a, a wellness check, as they call it. We're already right. saying the words wellness check, and uh, oh. Oske comes around the corner. What are you talking about? Ace is over here, sitting down on. The well, he, was, he was just here. Funny thing is, I walked by Tom's. I did the door like four times before you got here. You think I look up? <laughs> <laughs> so you so just we, had, well, we that his, information would have helped. Then we thought his I didn't car see was in the shop because his car wasn't out there. Oh, and so then he comes in and he goes, yeah, I, I'm getting my window fixed. And I go, oh, okay. So he doesn't have his car. So, how'd get so how did you get here? And he goes, I parked in a different place. <laughs> and I said, what? Well, you're lying right now. You didn't get your car fixed. You just parked in a different place. Yeah. Yeah. I can't talk to you. Glad you're okay, Ace. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I, I feel loved, Chick. I'm, yeah, okay. Go with that. You had, you had you been deceased, I would have 
Had your car fixed before we sold it off. Um, is it are, is it Al ready? There we go. There's Al. Al Jackson Hi, Al. joins us from as, Denver, Colorado. As is, baby. The big deal is that Ace is here. That's yes. the big deal. That's right. He's alive and well. Uh, 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 not not super pumped about it is Mr. Chick over there. He goes, yeah, he's all right. Uh, <laughs> it's like, aren't, shouldn't you be ecstatic that your friend is not a chalk outline right oh, now? Oh, man. A big day. I could have tripped over the cat and fell downstairs. Friend is a big stretch, Al. <laughs> loved one. <laughs> yes, loved one. He's family. Yeah, that's right. Uh, now, um, Al Jackson joins us from Denver. Al is one of the featured performers on the Daily Blast Live. and. Sir. uh and uh, you can see Al all the time on your computer or on a TV set near you. DBL. Yeah. Look for it. DBL. There you go. There. What's what's yeah. happening? Uh, you got it. Is that uh, the turtleneck there? Is it getting chilly? Yeah. It is. The the leaves are turning. It is. Uh, this I, I realize that fall is my favorite time of year. Oh yeah. I I, I, I like it because I think I'm naturally like uh, I like uh, you know I'm. Let me just not give it a euphemism. I'm becoming a recluse. Absolutely. Here, here. Uh, I don't. I don't. Me and Chick are yeah. a lot more like. Damn Chick, right. Uh, Tom, you two. Uh, you know, uh, we're weirdos and we don't leave our house a lot. And uh, this is the time to give me stuff to do in the yard. I could blow the leaves. So this is a this is a big time for me, and it gives me a reason to stay in the house and eat oatmeal, which I've already done this morning. Yeah. All right. I don't care what I'm blowing, but I'm blowing something. Really? Could hey, be the leaves. Uh, <laughs> Damn right. Be careful. Oh, could be the Amazon thing. Tom, I did. I did want to say something. I don't care. <laughs> Before uh, be, before we get started, I just want to say, because, th- you know, obviously every day my show and every show that is a show has to talk about uh, Taylor Swift and, and, and Travis Kelsey, and people are fighting back against regular crazy football fans like us, you know, saying, hey, well, it's, you know, we're obsessed with Taylor, so anything she does, we do. And I, I started thinking, like, what's the... Uh, you know, what, what, what's the direct mirror of a, a crazy football fan? I, I'll tell you this really quickly. My mom, who is uh, one of those women that's like, they don't really exist anymore. Like, you know those women that are just in your family that are like real saints, like they take care of six people and make sure they're alive and they don't even realize how great they are? Mm-hmm. That's how my mom is. So my mom is taking her brother, my Uncle Ben, uh, to the doctor. They realized that not recently, but it, they're getting some bad news that he's had a stroke in the last month. And so they test him for diabetes and they have to do that while they're there. And my uncle, who, uh, you know, is about uh, to uh, go under so they can test him, see if he had another stroke. My mom said he looks up and he points at the wall and he goes, what's that? And the nurse goes, I, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. And my mom goes, he was pointing to a Pittsburgh Steelers bumper sticker on the wall. <laughs> oh. And my uncle, who is a diehard Browns fan, before he was about to go under, was like, get that out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> that is what real fanship looks like, bro. <laughs> so, like, I just want all the Taylor Swift people to know we were crazy before y'all were crazy. Uh. This is to the death. This is like life and death. Like, li- the last thing he was at, the last question he asked before he went under was why am I looking at a Pittsburgh Steelers logo? <laughs> Let's go Browns. So, yeah, shout out Uncle Ben. Now, uh, have you been to the Taylor Swift movie? I wouldn't go to that. It's great. I went. It's great. You 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 uh it, from a technical standpoint, it's the best concert film I've ever seen. The the way they shoot it, the sound is amazing. And people were dancing in the aisles. I took my little girls out. They were dancing, they were singing. It was fantastic. Well, that's who it's made for. I know, it's great. For what it yeah, is, but Tom, perfect. I can't go to that. There'll be a red <laughs> dot over my house. I'd be like, oh yes, oh yes, one one ticket for one gigantic black man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, down in front, ladies. I'm trying to catch this show. Maybe you should yeah, take that, the, maybe take your crew from the Daily Blast live show. They've got a bunch of kids, so you can. I'll go as a group. It's not just kids, Tom. Do you, it, it's so weird because uh, you know Taylor Swift was in Denver. Uh, I don't know, a month and a half back. And it was weird because it was kind of like I was following her because then obviously I was in L.A. that that following weekend with the kiddos, and Taylor Swift was playing SoFi Arena or wherever the big arena is there. And when I'm staying at the hotel, I re- like I've stayed in so many, I can like feel when there's a lot of people there. And the hotel was packed on a Sunday, which they're never, there's sometimes there's like four cars in the parking lot because everybody checks out Sunday morning. Still packed. And I'm going, I'm going back to my room, and this white guy... Like white beard with his wife. They were both probably early 60s. And he just turns to me like they're going in their room and I'm going in mine. He goes, You here for the Swifty concert? 
And I was like, why are we talking about this, sir? <laughs> I'm not, and you shouldn't be either. It's I, Her demo is so weak. I mean, I'll give it to her. She, it's everyone. I don't get it, but I'm not hating. I just don't get it. But I, I've never seen anybody with a demo that cuts. Like, if I say something about Taylor on my show, like, there's a 24-year-old uh, black producer on our show that I can see her giving me the side eye, like, he's a hater. Like it, it's every it doesn't like she crosses over socioeconomic and race like everybody just like is in her grasp. I don't I don't I don't understand it. It's good. You, I think you'd like it all. But if what, you, you got to go with your song. Um, I like the uh, well, um, shake it off. I kind of like that one. That's an well, that's an earlier one, and I like the first one. When you belong to me, and that's a great tune. And she wrote it when she was whatever sixteen or something. But yeah, it just it's it just watching the joy in the people there was fun for me. And then yeah, I looked, I looked at my, I looked at my Korea phone too a lot. When the prime minister comes out, okay, yeah, <laughs> that's, 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 that's my, my favorite. Sorry, it's I, very culty to me. I'm sorry, it looks very culty. Like people in front of the screen crying. Oh, when the yeah. uh, Grand Master is out there, it just is very strange. I don't know. Good my, luck my, to y'all. My favorites are uh, Fire and Rain and uh, Mudslide Slim. That's and... James Taylor. She's, oh! not, she's named after him, by the way. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> Al Jackson's... Uh, <laughs> uh, I had it all wrong. Al, you were saying uh, uh, how kind of eccentric you've gotten. and Put it this way, my girls are out of town. I've had uh, a cereal for the last two nights for dinner and, and happy about it. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, shredded, little point. shredded wheat. Okay, Tom. Tom, now yeah. take that happiness and listen to what I'm going to say now. What's that? It's just the beginning. Okay. <laughs> don't, you, don't you love having just cereal for dinner and just not having to worry about it? Al, you're else? talking about recluse. Don't you don't you find that the pandemic kind of put all of us on those of us who always wanted to be rec recluses actually took that and ran with it, man. I still am yes. not. Yeah. I think that it's, was a, it, it, it's a real thing because, Chicky, there's some people that because of societal norms and you don't want to seem like a maniac, you know, some people don't want to go to your wedding. Doesn't mean they don't like you. <laughs> Doesn't, you know, some people don't want to be out. My dad was like that. My dad was like, he moved out so, like, he, I can't explain to you how rural where my dad lived and would do an hour and 10 minute commute downtown every day just to be by himself, to have an acre on both yeah. sides of nice. it. Nice. He yes. wasn't even a farmer. It's he my was dream. just like, I'm done. Yeah. And I just think it's like the older you get and the more like, I, I think, uh, you know, I talk to Dean all the time before I come on the air, and he and I are just like, some people are like tinkerers, and they like to play around in the garage and play around with electronics, you, you know, and, and and when I go out, I just, I, I don't, you know, I don't drink anymore. I'm not chasing girls anymore. Not back when you're chasing, you got to be out. But, like, I'm not chasing no more, so I'm like... Yeah, let's stay in the house. Let's see what happens after three days. I got a, <laughs> I have a tactical question for you, Al. Oh, all right. I was reading this article about um, the uh, uh, fact that uh, shoes, people are now wearing sneakers everywhere. And a lot of uh, sort of staid offices are now actually not having clothing requirements. I was just in an yeah. office the other day signing some documents that everybody in there was dressed like a casual Friday on a Monday. Do you yeah, wear no. do you wear sneakers uh, on your TV show because your feet are not seen because you're always wearing really nice suits and everything since you're on yeah, TV no. do you wear yeah I respect the job Tom I put some uh, put some shoes on uh you know I, I I try and get nice uh nice dress shoes not not overly like uh let's figure out this corporate merger dress shoes but like casually cool shoes now I do have a pair of kind of custom-made, uh, really dope black tennis shoes that have this uh, flower design weed through them, but they're kind of like, they're not for exercise. So they're, they're, are, your, are your fellow yeah. broadcasters, are they all wearing leather shoes, and are they are they wearing No, we, we all kind of, I think everybody on the show kind of likes to get dressed up. And, they, you know, Tom, what you're talking about with the state offices and everything, I think it started at the airport. I remember seeing this trend where, like, Adults will start coming to the airport in like pajamas yeah. and a pillow, like oh. they're about to work through some childhood trauma. <laughs> yes. what, what are you doing? You're 41. Why do you need to be that comfortable for three hours? Pull it together, put your teddy bear away, and let's get on the fly fly. Yeah. And it's it's such a weird thing, but it you start to kind of let things go. I do believe I am all for being casual, being chill. I I, I like when. Uh, you know, the opposite sex is kind of chill. Like a woman in some overalls, come on, dog. Dude, I think that's so hot. I think a, a woman that's like painting and doing something, uh, yeah, I'm all in on that. But I do think 
when it's time to like, hey, it's 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 so and so's retirement ceremony. It's somebody's graduating. We need to go get these papers signed for this. But like, put some clothes on. Like, st- oh, what are we doing here? I don't. <laughs> I was I don't inside know. the bank see? yesterday, and the guys, the two of the guys working there, were wearing jeans and like frumpy shirts. And I'm thinking. Bankers? Bankers don't dress like that. You guys in ambrosia? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to start singing? <laughs> this says uh, the casual dress codes have jumped up by 80%. Yeah. So anyways, uh, hey, speaking of casual, we got to get out of this casual mode and go into our um, work mode here. Al, yes. your job is to make me somewhat hipper, and uh, that I involves working. the American language. Do we have a phrase I need to learn? Oh, we have uh, a phrase, and, and and but we're going to start with a word that I that I love, uh, and I, I, it goes in and out of my vocabulary, but I'll use it for the rest of my life. And Tom, that word is stank. When would you use the word stank? <laughs> Not referring to smell. Not referring to smell. Okay. You could, obviously. Mm-hmm. Stank. Yes. Wow. <laughs> um, just uh, use your, uh, I think, yeah, just common sense. Yeah, uh, it, it can just be a critical term for say uh, you you attend the cinema and you go boy that movie stank. Mm, no, 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 no. Stay no. away from critical. I would say also. Okay. Well, what, um, oh, I know. I have an idea. Wait a minute. Wait I would say minute. it's not necessarily critical. I have. I have an idea. Yeah. Would it be? Um, I'll tell you what. I I went to see uh, Al Jackson's comedy show. Man, it was fantastic. He just put a little bit of stank on it. Oh, there we. That's, that's yeah. it. That's it. Yeah. Tom. Tom, look yeah. it, now wow. we joke around about like oh it's been years and Tom anybody listening and everybody in that room knows Tom would not have got that two years ago. You're right. I'm learning. Tom, you are like you're learning. So please, uh, I I, I want to keep this momentum going. Uh, I've heard this word used a bunch actually. Uh, uh, this woman was on our show yesterday used it in a sentence on live TV and I was like oh this is really making kind of a comeback because it was around for a while and then it left and now it's back. Tom, uh, what when would you use the phrase "keeping it a buck"? Keeping it a buck. Mm. Yes. Is this like the dollar store? Or <laughs> yeah, they always that'd try be a, to. That'd be a good competition for the dollar store. They try to keep it at a buck. Keep it at a yeah, buck. That's right. Is it keep it at a buck or keep it in a buck? <laughs> keep it a buck. Keep it a buck. Okay, keep it a buck. Yes. Keeping it in a buck would be tough. Uh, <laughs> that would be very weird. That would be if you keep it in there for seven seconds. You're not here for the hunting, are no. you? No. <laughs> so anyway, then this bear comes out and rapes me. And, uh, oh, keep it a buck. Keep it a buck. Um, does it mean just being uh, being reasonable? No, but you're in. You're you're fishing in the dark, but you think the fish are biting. You're close. Keep it a buck. Um, wow, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Is it? Does it involve monetary? Uh... No, but what does a buck symbolize? A uh, dollar? Oh, you mean, are we talking the uh, animal or are we talking a dollar? A, a, a dollar, but like what is it? Like if you just looked at the number visually. Uh, keep it a buck. Keep it a buck. One? One. One? One hundred. It looks like one hundred. Uh, oh, there you go. Yeah. One dollar. Okay. It's like so one, then one, go with that. One hundred percent. Oh, yes. I see. Keep, keep it a buck. Yeah. So, yeah. what do you think it means? First off. So, um, uh, well, I think you just said it. In other words, um, be all in. Uh, keep, keep it. Keep, be be one hundred percent into something. More, more. Keep it real. I think. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm gonna be totally honest right here. So if uh, if somebody got fired. Uh, you know, and they unfairly, and they were trying to do the diplomatic thing. They were like, oh, why'd you leave DBL? And I'd be like, you know, it was a mutual party. Well, let me stop. Let me keep it a buck. Okay. Here's what happened. Okay. I relapsed. No, it's just... <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> that, that, that's like how... That, that That's how you would use it. So it's just kind of like, I'm going to be 100 with you, and it's like a way to say, like, I'm, I'm being 100% honest. Wow. I never would have gotten yeah. that one. Yeah, but I, it it really it's an easy way to to communicate that you're telling the truth, and I I think it's better because uh, whenever somebody says, "Look, Chrissy, I'm going to be honest with you," I'm always like, "Aren't mm-hmm. isn't that the default? Don't you always assume somebody?" Yeah. I think sure. when somebody says, "I'm going to be honest," my ears go up like, "What? Why <laughs> yeah. did why did you feel the need to say that?" So yeah, I like keep it a book. Just means like I know I'm supposed to, even if I'm being honest, kind of sugarcoat this, but I'm not. I'm just going to tell you like what happened. Feel how it feel about it, how you may. 
All right. Mm. Uh, by the way, uh, Al's album is out there. I forgot to mention this. In yes. earnest, uh, you can grab that. Oh, how does one find that, Al? Oh, Tom and D, mm -hmm. just anywhere that you get your streaming music services, Apple, iTunes, Spotify, all that good stuff, you can find in earnest. And that's Al Jackson. Thank you very much, Al. Hey, uh, I love uh, you. Whenever that's I, me keeping it a buck. Uh, and and uh, you put the stank on it today, my friend. <laughs> Good. My good. man, my man, fifty grand with uh, no, Boku stink, no, as they say in uh, France. No. Yeah, yanked right up. It right at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hit the mountain right there. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Right now, this portion of the Bob and Tom Show is brought to you by Better Help. Better Help is all about getting yourself feeling better and doing better. And Better Help is. They're, they're bringing contemporary technology to the world of therapy. And uh, how does it work? Well, you fill out a brief questionnaire, and you'll get matched up with a licensed therapist. This is all done online. By the way, once you're uh, fixed up with a therapist, you can um, switch at any time for no additional charge. But the uh, idea here is convenience. You can uh, do this uh, online with, uh, I don't know, you can do texting back and forth like a chat, or you can do it on the phone or, or like a Zoom. This is the beauty of better help. So uh, it's a great way to uh, get your brain to maybe stop racing with therapy. Uh, as, as they say, make your brain your friend again with better help. Find out all the information by going to betterhelp.com slash bt show add the slash bt show today to knock 10 percent off that first month once again it's better help h-e-l-p betterhelp.com slash bt show to get on your way to being your best self and uh, therapy is a great way to do it and better help is all about convenience because not only do you find the therapist on the uh, on the web as they say it's all done on the on your computer or on your phone so it's super convenient for you that's what it's all about betterhelp.com slash bt show coming up refrigerators in the news and more sex and more sex wow this is the bob and tom show reach us toll free at 1-888-BOB-TOM-1 or at bob and tom Here we go. B double E double R U N beer run. Yeah. B double E double R U N beer run. All you need is a ten and a fiver, car key and a sober driver. B double E double R U N beer run. A couple of frat guys from Abilene drove out all night to see Robert Earl Keane at the Cape Pig Swine and Soiree dance. They wore baseball caps and khaki pants. They wanted cigs, so to save some money, they got one off a hippie that smelled kind of funny. Next thing they knew, they were both really hungry and pretty thirsty, too. B double E double R U N beer run. B double E double R U N. Car key and a sober driver, B double E double R U N beer run. They found a store with the sign said their beer was coldest. They sent him Brad because he looked the oldest. He got a case of beer and a candy bar. Walked over to where all them registers are, laid his fake ID on the countertop. Clerk looked, he turned, he looked back up, he stopped. He said, Kid, I'm not gonna call the cops, but I'm gonna have to keep this car. The guys both took it pretty hard. Sing it if you know it, even in your car. B double E double R U N beer run. B double E double R U N beer run. All you need is a ten and a fiver, car key and a sober driver. B double E double R U N beer run. Met this other old hippie named Sleepy John. He said he was the guy from the Robert Earl Keane song, so they gave him their cash. He bought him some brews. It was a beautiful day out in Santa Cruz. They were feeling so good. Should have been a crime. The crowd was cool and the band was prime. They made it back up front to their seats just in time to sing with all their friends. The road goes on forever and the party never ends. B-double-E-double-R-U-N, beer run.
like walking. I have lower back pain, some uh, foot discomfort. So you're just rolling around? Yeah. There are better options. You need to try orange insoles. Orange insoles? Yeah, check those out. Proper support for your feet. You're gonna have arch yeah. support. It's got that deep heel cup. These do feel better. All right. Who needs you? Not me. Orange insoles will help you feel better and do more guaranteed. Get your orange insoles today and step into a world of comfort. Morning radio, all day and all night. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom Radio. It's the most talked about show on television, The Bachelorette, where 25 eligible bachelors try to win the hand of one single woman. And now, Bob and Tom Television brings you a new twist on this hit show. She's 30 and single. She's... What the hell do you mean by that? Oh, uh, uh, nothing. Meet Linda Jackson. Now, here come the fellas. Say hello to Todd Williams. Hi, Linda. I'm really pleased to... Yeah. Next. <laughs> and here's our next eligible guy. Say hello to... Hold it. Are you really going to say each time, say hello to your dick ding dong or whatever? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. Here he is, Jerry Peterson. Hello, Linda. I can't tell you how happy I am to finally meet you. And... Right, right. Uh, what do you do, Jerry? Uh, well, I own my own consulting business and... Ah, uh... consulting, eh? <laughs> and when did you lose your Amway dealership, Jerry? Huh? <laughs> Jeez, what a bitch. She's the bitchlerette. <laughs> She's single, pissed off, and is looking for money. Lots of money. Hi, I'm Linda. I'm Phil. Yeah, did you forget something? No, I don't think so. Any gift? Gift? I didn't know that we were... Mm, Bye-bye. <laughs> Loser. <laughs> wow. Tune in to Bob and Tom TV and see why she's called the Bitchlerette. She's on the prowl and she's got... Shut your <laughs> hole and bring on the rich numbers. Uh, on Bob and Tom TV. <laughs> well, there you go. There's a show I'd watch. Yeah. yeah. Good morning, sunshine. Bob and Tom Radio. Uh, we're speaking with comedian Jim Gaffigan. What else is uh, your love? What's it, what are you into? Do you have hobbies? I, I, do you, are you, my, you my, like weird food? Are you a drug addict? Anything I, cool uh, to talk about? Oh, I, I love food. Food okay. is my... Are you a drug, a drug addict? addict. <laughs> I'm very pale, but not a drug addict. <laughs> I'd like I, to be a drug addict. I for a little love while. food. Mm -hmm. I even enjoy watching people make food. But you, you ever notice the Food Network is far more interesting when you're hungry? You know, when you're full, you're kind of like, this is stupid. <laughs> but when you're hungry, the Food Network's are like porn. You're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Whip yeah. it up, baby. Make it for me. I love eating late at night, too. You know, you're not supposed to eat late at night. And mm -hmm. Then again, you're not supposed to drink booze in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mark, you're a single guy. Yeah, I tell you, though, it's tough because... Uh... <laughs> I got these neighbors behind uh -huh. me. Really? My neighbor Gail. Very, um... Gail? Uh, Gail is a woman who just moved to... Her bedroom wall is right behind mine, and um, she has a new boyfriend. Mm -hmm. And I found this out. Uh, his name is... Tom! <laughs> <laughs> Hi. This is Ross Bennett, and you're... Haywood. Haywood. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hello there. In the uh, navy green double pocket shirt. Oh, very it's brown. Nice. Is it brown? Yeah, <laughs> the lighting may look different it to you. It looks like it's, it's navy green. It's a very deep there. brown. Yeah, yeah, deep, deep brown. What do you think, Tom? You're you rather you're having a stroke. That is not even close. Is it? It's not baby crap brown though, like you like. No. Yeah, you were wearing a sweater the other day. He, I couldn't believe he didn't say something. Yeah, that's... I didn't want to set him off. Oh. It was embarrassing. <laughs> no, Chick, Chick is very mild, Chick's man. Chick's killing it with the cardigans. And yeah, stuff. he is. He's got I some nice sweaters. If you're going to spend 500 bucks on a sweater, get it the same color as cow poop. <laughs> <laughs>
Wow. <laughs> it, it was wonderfully autumnal. You know, brown you. is a I real big color this morning. Damn right. Like it it burns the end of my acid. <laughs> Damn right. It's, I think it's called <laughs> pecan. Oh, actually. I like oh, that. Oh, I like that. Oh, very nice. And speaking of pecan, Ace Cosby's here. He's nuts. <laughs> oh, he's, he's way down. That was the implication. <laughs> That's exactly right. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Grizzle. You know, you can always tell Ace is here when you hear this. Man with a deep voice. Ace Cosby, here he is with his joke of the day. Hey, Dick. Yes, Ace. Halloween right around the corner. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I think we can all agree that Albert Einstein, brilliant. Mm -hmm. Sure. His brother Frank, a monster. Yes, that's right. Uh, <laughs> Frank Einstein. Joke of the day. Frankenstein. Uh, uh, oh, he's a monster. Frank Einstein. I like that very much. Thank you, Ace. And thank you, Omaha Steaks, for the semi-annual sale you're having right now. With 50% off at omahasteaks.com, it's the perfect time to grab your fall grilling favorites. Plus, when you use our code BTS at checkout, you're going to get an additional 30 bucks off your order. Minimum order may be required. Omaha Steaks, joke of the day. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ace Cosby. Take uh, that. Now, um, it's uh, time to uh, return to Christy Lee at the news desk. What have you got? Well, we didn't finish our vacation sex story. Okay, now what's the background on this again? Well, apparently we're friskier with our partners while traveling. 80% of the people say they have better sex away from home. Hmm. And um, when it comes to the settings available for amorous couples on vacation, here's what they prefer. All right. Bed, uh, I hope, is in there. Hotel rooms rank number one, Tom, yes. The 75%. Bed, the bed in the hotel room. Doesn't say the bed, just says the hotel room. The floors are disgusting. Eh? You ever did it on a couch? Maybe in a chair? Shower. Chair. Shower. shower? Dude, oh. some hotel chairs... Are Especially if they're so like a, a shawl's lounge. Oh, yeah, chairs lounge. <laughs> yes. Right. The rocking chairs. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll handle the rocking. Back and forth. Yeah, get that chair to sleep. Showers and bathtubs are actually a separate category, Chick. No oh. kidding. 65%. Hmm. More injuries in bathtub sex. Than Boy, the, the sexual so whimsy fun. you possess. No joke. <laughs> it's almost, you're just a savant. Spontaneity in having, your life. Having sex and setting up scenarios. You are so well. So 60% of those say they like to have their uh, away game in a tent. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't know I've ever done that. Have you guys? I am yeah. not, no, not in a tent. Yeah. Oh, well, well my, wait my, a minute. My brother Long said they wouldn't. Ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, the tent I was in, though, was a, uh, it had a, uh, it had a canvas covering, but it had a wood floor, if that makes oh, any nice. sense. Oh, nice. You were glamping. I was glamping a little, yeah. Does outside just count? Uh, just outside? I bet that's on the list. No. It's not on the list. Oh, no beach, no... Well, wait a minute. That's a different category. Cornfields? Rental cars, 40%. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That seems You've done high. it in a rental car, Pat. I'm not saying I have. I know of people he that have. Uh -huh. He loves outdoor sex Oh, that's right, in cars. cars. Plus, he's also forgot. been a rental road dog, a longtime yeah. road comedian. I think a rental car might have actually oh. happened. Mm -hmm. Did you really like my comedy today? <laughs> Did you like the closing? <laughs> I sang my you, butt off when I went. How about you close this? Were you at the early show or the late show? <laughs> There's an old joke. Seriously, what'd you think? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, this is an Avis, and they're number two, speaking of which. <laughs> number two. Like, Avis uh, rhymes with... <laughs> I want some of that bus stuff. The most fantasized... I, I there's about 40% of people have had sex in a rental car. Come on. And that's what they're saying. That does seem high. It but, seems but. very high. But, but, what about the bus? Hurts so good, if you know what I mean. <laughs> there you go. The most fantasized locations for intimacy were... But? On the beach. Oh. That's no. way better fantasized. The, the fantasy is better than the reality, yeah. isn't it? That's yeah, you don't want sand in your crack. It's awful. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, that was Christy Lee, ladies and gentlemen. In nature, 50%. Okay. And in the ocean or sea, 45%. Oh, God. You haven't? Uh, are you kidding? Ocean? You've never no. had sex in the water? In the pool? Uh, no. Lake? No. Pond? Pond? Would, would, yeah. No, it would have been Lake Michigan. I tried no. when I skinny dipped, but it's not all it's cracked up to be. Yeah. Hot it's really tub. not. Right. Water creates friction. Yes. Yeah. That's, easy, that's easy to forget. And it dries you out, so to speak. Mm. <laughs> it's not, you can't, especially oh. salt water. You it wouldn't, it wouldn't salt water be painful? Well, if you have lesions. <laughs> what the hell are you no, got I mean, working over there? I mean, for the ladies, right? wouldn't you be introducing? You don't really feel the salt. I what mean, do you, you kind no. of. What do you think saline is over there, Einstein? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't have like seaweed and... You know, clams. Well, you're shells not and laying on the floor of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry.
You're funny. So the point is, uh, the larger stat is that most people think they have a better time in that realm while in, on vacation. Well, right? it, it makes it perfect sense. It makes so much sense. Yeah. Um, let me ask you this, Josh. Yes, please. Um, I'm an open book, my friend. Would you say that um, when you were an on-the-road comedian, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. would you say that you had, <laughs> would you say that your, that your personal encounters, oh, yeah. and I mean your person, right? Were, did they happen more often on the road or at home? Home. Really? Yeah. Uh, on the road, um, I didn't treat it like a lot of comedians do. I didn't do a lot of, as Al Jackson earlier said, chasing because mm. I was pretty focused and I was tired and wanted to go back to the hotel. <laughs> and, and it takes a lot of work. Yeah, it's a hard job. You've just worked a lot and then you have to hang out for two or three hours and it's also a gamble. You don't know if she's going to be up for going back to the hotel. No, thanks. But I bet you had good game. There are some comics I've seen working it that... I When I bad. wanted it to work, it would. Okay. For the most part. Yeah. But, man, it was rare. It really was rare. For the most part. Mm -hmm. See, for you not being, always. Not always. For yeah. you, being on the road wasn't a vacation. No. No. That's, that's the distinction. Well, no, Everybody work. thinks it is, and it's yeah. not. It's work. Godwin, how about you? Uh, it's not a vacation. You think about it all day. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a lot, <laughs> very, lot of stress. When you were a single man on the road, though, did you chase? Even at a... Did he chase? Oh, I have a girlfriend right now. I never chased. Oh. <laughs> You're getting a look. I see. The, ol the only chased, chased we should be talking about when it comes to you is C-H-A-S-T-E. Chased, go. yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, coming up. <laughs> We have uh, we have a, a bizarre Halloween story that involves a real dead body mm. oh, no. in the news. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out the Bob and Tom Show on Facebook. Get the link at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. <laughs> just, I'm just getting ready. Oh, oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 18 wheels on a big rig. Yeah, buddy, here we go. Oh, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 18 wheels on a big rig. And they're rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, roll. Okay, let's back them up. Here we go. Oh, there's 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 4, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wheels on a big rig. Okay, the even numbers. It's an easy Oh, there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen wheels on a big rig. And they're rolling, 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 rolling. Okay, by one and a half. Here we go. Uh oh. Oh, there's one and a half, three, three four and a half, six, seven, seven, seven and a half, nine, <laughs> uh, ten and a half, eighteen, uh, 18 uh, wheels. Wheel we on a big rig. <laughs> and they're rolling, 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 rolling. Okay, the odd numbers. Here we go. Oh, there's one, three, five, seven, seven, eleven, on a big rig. And they're rolling, 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 rolling. Okay, Roman numeral. I'm here, I'm ready for this one. All right, go. Oh, there's I, 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 V, 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 I, V, I, I, V, I, 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 X, 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 I, X, I, I, X, I, 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 X, I, V, X, V, X, V, I, X, V, I, I, X, V, I, 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 wheels on a big rig. It's very good. Roman, 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 Roman. Okay, Roman numerals backwards. Here we go. There's X V I I I X V I I X V I X V X I V X I I I X I I X I X I X V I I I V I I V I V I V I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I Taught me carefree days as a lad. We never had toys that were store bought. We would improvise with things that we had. We made forts out of cardboard boxes. Yardsticks were swords or were spears. But of all these things, none gave the hours of fun. Like me mother's gigantic brazier. <laughs> oh, me mother's. Oh, me mother's. <laughs>
<laughs> me mother's gigantic brazier. It was of the finest label, canvas, lace, and stainless cable. Me mother's gigantic brazier. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I leapt from the roof of the garage. Though I was but six or seven years. Oh, I would have broke me back, but I clung fast, fast to the straps of me mother's gigantic brazier. <laughs> oh, me mother's, oh, me mother's, me mother's gigantic brazier. Wing nuts, cleats, and spoiler, brass grommets, and cup holder on me mother's gigantic brazier. <laughs> We tied the bra between two trees. <laughs> the neighbor boys they wore, they did declare. <laughs> we ended the attack with six pumpkins and two cats flung from me mother's gigantic <laughs> brazier. <laughs> oh, me mother's, oh, me mother's, me mother's gigantic brazier. Delicate flower appliques, eight track tape and safety chains on me mother's gigantic brazier. <laughs> One time we used it to slow down our dragster <laughs> or parasail behind our boat. Mm -hmm. Then there was a time it was used to airlift an injured skier <laughs> off a treacherous mountain slope. <laughs> but most I think of my father's pride when wash day it was done as he hoisted it up the telephone pole <laughs> to billow <laughs> in the sun. <laughs> oh, me mother's, oh, me mother's, me mother's gigantic brazier with an awning and screen door could sleep two family of four. It's me mother's gigantic brazier. Oh, me mother's, oh, me mother's, me mother's gigantic brazier. Reinforced hydraulic winch, reflective tape, and three-point hitch on me mother's <laughs> gigantic brazier. He's our guest, uh, and uh, Rick is uh, on his, uh, well, frankly, you're on your second marriage. I don't know if I should bring this up. Yes, but. yes, I am. Maybe men and women living together is just too much anyway. I think, you know, it's just too much pressure. I think men and women should live around the corner from each other. <laughs> <laughs> How much yeah. better let you call each other up every morning. Hello, you being a jerk? Yes, I am. Click. Right? That's you. <laughs> Go to a movie, you know, instead of uh -huh. getting up every morning and spinning the big pain wheel. <laughs> 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 Today's mind game, vague remarks about your failures at work. <laughs> hey, <all right>. yeah. <laughs> Joining us in the studio, comedian Ed Yeager. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi Ed. Ed. How are you? Good. Good to see you again. I'm glad football season's almost here. I love football. I do, too. I was, uh, sitting, I was in a hotel room, <laughs> and I just I was watching a football game, and I, I opened the drawer, I pull out the Bible, I turned, I, I turned to John 3.16. Mm-hmm. And it actually says, sitteth thee in the end zone with a large sign. <laughs> <laughs> I babysat a cat a couple weeks ago. No, it went in the show. Oh, he. Then he started uh, picking his out of his litter box and dropping him in the middle of the living room floor. <laughs> well, this is a protest. <laughs> It did seem like some sort of action. Cats oh, are, that's funny. you know, jerks, basically. <laughs> Can be. Cats are jerks. <laughs> uh, uh, don't be weird. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hi. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello, Chick. Hello, Pat. There's Josh Arnold. Chick. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I am Chick McGee, and here's Tom. Well, thank you very much. Uh, we've got a special request here. Oh, what joke am I with that? Um, what song? It, it's, uh, <laughs> it, it, we'll get a song out of you in a minute. Pat. Sports story? They want me to leave. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a really uh, serious uh, letter from, uh, it's from a, a friend of the show, Paul Hi, and, Paul. Uh, and Hi, Paul. Cam. Hi, Cam. Um, in honor of their, uh, their brother, Will, they okay. wanted to hear something special. This was one of Will's favorites, mm. and um, 
Uh, Cam is an over-the-road trucker, and the boys are heading down to Texas right now. And um, this is an unusual request, but uh, it's one of my faves. Uh, it's, a, it's a product that might come in handy uh, should you, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, be heading to, heading to prison. Oh, okay. And you're, and you're concerned about uh, the old AC. And this one's for Will. Uh, yeah, in, in his honor. Here okay. we go. As a service to our Hispanic friends, the following commercial announcement is brought to you in both English and Spanish. Hello, I am Juan Popil, famous inventor and president of OneCom Industries. Hola, I am Juan Popil, el presidente de the OneCom Industries. Due to a minor problem with the Mexican tax laws, I recently spent a considerable amount of time in a Mexican prison. Prendido lesimente un sumo considerably templo in el Casa Grande, Mexicano. Where I had the misfortune of having a particularly amorous cellmate, Jose. Donde tengo la desglesia de tenido un castel consorte muy un amorza como se dice slammer de botox <laughs> this led me to invent the first product designed to prevent unauthorized rear entry este mi salida al inventar el producto primero react al preventes no visite el poop shoot after installation unwanted intruders are greeted by an ear piercing alarm Followed by our patented orifice sentry grinding mechanism. <laughs> Desde installation, intrusos no desigualida and stand salador por alarma. <laughs> and now I am pleased to offer this product to you. The ahora soy contentos el promitor el producto bien a ustedes. New from Wanco Industries, it's the Backdoor Buddy, the Shad Amigo. <laughs> la cosa nueva la Wanco Industries es el Shad Amigo. It was So you won't be surprised by Jose. No way. With the Sadamigo backdoor body, you won't have to turn the other cheek. Con el Sadamigo como el diablo bastardo entre como el Ned Beatty. Because we're behind you 100%, keeping away unwanted intruders. De la entre como el sue. Salido, Dios. Sadamigo. Sadamigo, Frigamal Industries, Cancun, Mexico. Sadamigo, Frigamal Industries, Cancun, Mexico. <laughs> uh, that was one of his favorites, the Sadamigo. All right. Sending that out to the Griggs boys. You're very welcome. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy? <laughs> well, thanks. Fo follow that. Thanks. Officials in Georgia have arrested four people at a house where neighbors say they ran an illegal strip club. <laughs> Residents of the South Fulton neighborhood told WSB-TV... Uh, Channel 7, Atlanta. ...that the people kept them up all hours of the night with a lot of partying and sporadic gunfire. You know... <laughs> <laughs> wow. you know I've, n I've never heard of a uh, wildcat strip club, if you will. Yep. Right. Uh, they why, were, why not? Right? They were accused, Chick, of running an illegal strip club on the premises the squatters apparently raced through the streets had piles of trash at the home <laughs> and according to one neighbor they had live horses on the property <laughs> following a SWAT team oh, you know raid. what you need to do is get you some live horses out there and have them them bitches ride them horses. <laughs> you, got your, you got your strippers and you got your Are you horses. MLB coach Bruce Bowman? That's right. Uh, I've been alive a long time. Maybe they had a Lady Godiva fantasy. I don't know. Wow. Following Good a SWAT Lord. team raid on the home, police found stolen cars, stolen guns, stolen IDs, stolen credit cards. You get the idea. <laughs> wow. What was the premise of Risky Business? A whorehouse, right? 
yeah. in his house. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What the f, Joel? Looks like the University of Illinois. Right? <laughs> yeah, and, then, yeah. and then he opened up a yeah. So and but there this was is a the pit? strip club. Yeah, that he yeah strip. Wow. He brought in yeah. the VIP room has a dishwasher and an oven. In it. <laughs> <laughs> very very unusual. Very. Uh, uh, Pat, yeah, you're giving me the look. You got a tribute to a, a, look, yeah. a house turned into a strip club. I'll build a stage. <laughs> you get the strippers that we saw at the club today. <laughs> Staring at big boobs, <laughs> high on gin and juice, so we'll make it rain while girls, 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 <laughs> plays and plays. <laughs> Our house is a strip club in a small house <laughs> with two cops in the yard and lots of stolen cars. Now the neighborhood is trashy because of us. <laughs> All clear a room. You get the singles that we robbed from the bank today. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Very oh, nice. Thank you very much. Nice, nice touching tribute. <laughs> a, uh, a wildcat strip club. Well, I mean, yeah. it, it's off. Uh, I don't know what you'd call it, but yeah, yeah. You know, you have fine, you hear about illegal po poker games, right? And all sorts of. Why no? Why not a strip club? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, really you, rarely, you really don't hear no. about those. No, you don't. You hear whorehouses all the time. It's Why fairly enter enterprising, sure. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you got to get a stage. you got to get a pole. you got to get horses. You gotta, I don't know you where you got to get a DJ. In. Horses, the guy's thinking outside the box. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, horses. They don't yeah. need a DJ. All you need is a Spotify. Boom, you got it. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Boy. Yep. G nice Spotify. Bose speaker. I bet if, you, if you put strip club mix into Spotify, <laughs> it'll come out. I wonder what. what oh, what I bet you could. Would, uh, now, what would you charge girls, for cover charge? Girls, girls. Oh, 20, 20, At least 20 bucks. 20, 25 dollars. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yep. Is that women, what? girls for, for women for free and guys 25 bucks? Uh, there you go. Oh, is that standard? Pretty much, yeah. Oh. Mm. Hmm. East St. Oh. Louis rules. Yeah. I got a tactical question. East St. Louis, <laughs> which is the. the Heartbeat of stripping in the United <laughs> sure States of America. Sage. You're going to need a pencil or pen for this. All right. All right. I hate quizzes. I want to say hi to uh, Carl. Hi, Carl. Carl's doing great after having a real serious <laughs> surgery at University <laughs> Hospital in Cleveland. <laughs> Carl's okay now. Okay. <laughs> okay Glad uh, to hear you, Carl. Yeah, Carl. Hey, thanks for taking the time to write. Carl had uh, um, a fairly serious uh, surgery. Just Carl with a C or a K? A K. Oh, but his last name, Ready? Yeah. Oh. Uh, T I I T T O. T I I T T O. Like, Tito? Like Marshall? Like the vodka? Marshall Tito? T I I T I T I I T T O? Yeah. I know what you want me to say. No, I was. So it's. Tito. Do you think it's Tito? Yeah. Okay. For the purpose of, and, and by, purposes of this. I bet, Carl, I bet Carl's be, been spending his whole life going, no, it's no, Tito. No, it's Tito. It certainly might be Tito. Is it Tito, since he's got the two eyes in it? Maybe. Uh, okay. Tito. Tito. Carl, or Carl, hey, Tito. Carl, thanks for listening. We're glad you're doing well. Yeah, Carl. And uh, bravo to the great uh, physicians at University Hospital. Cleveland, Ohio is the place. All right. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, coming up, speaking of Cleveland, the mm -hmm. Cleveland Browns going to be playing some football this week, and as are many other teams in the NFL. That's and you, right. You can pick some winners and maybe win yourself the Big Green Egg Mini Max from the Bob and Tom Show. We gave one uh, to Brad Graham, who's going to be our guest in just a few minutes. Brad from Erie, Pennsylvania, was week six. Yeah. He was the week six winner of the Big Green Egg Mini Max. We are beginning week seven this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, and at the, with the Thursday nighter, and Chick will be picking in just a few minutes. But right now, uh, you've uh, picked your uh, house. I picked my home security system, the Design It Yourself, Do It Yourself, Simply Safe. And you know, it's still October, but the holidays are bearing down on us like a, a giant turkey filled truck. Yeah, like a, 67 days away. A Christmas tree pointed right at you. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, experts love Simply Safe. It was named the best home security system of 2023 by U.S. News and World Report. And Simply Safe, a comprehensive protection for the whole home. Advanced sensors that detect break-ins, fires, floods, and more. Plus HD cameras, both inside and out. Powered by 24-7 professional monitoring for less than a dollar a day. And half the cost of traditional home security. And with the new 24-7 live guard protection and the smart alarm wireless indoor camera, monitoring agents can see and speak to intruders, helping stop crime in real time. 
a powerful technology exclusively proprietary from Simply Safe. Satisfaction backed by Simply Safe's money back guarantee. Try Simply Safe for 60 days risk free. If you don't love it, return your system for a full refund. And for a limited time, save 40% off any new system with a fast protect plan just go to simplysafetom.com for all the deets that's simplysafetom.com and remember there's no safe like simply safe thank you very much read the reviews they're amazing check out simply safe uh now uh, coming up it's going to be the shoe of the week with our special guest commentator brad graham winner of week six of the big green egg mini max in our pigskin pick'em competition also, I hope we have time to get to this. We have pants in the news, refrigerators in the news, and a dead body. This Ooh. is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Ron White, and you're... Here we sure. go, last one. All right. You guys! <laughs> Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. Uh, the Gores just got divorced. Mm -hmm. We know Paul McCartney went through the worst divorce in history. That's true. I would have been a great attorney for Paul McCartney. Mm -hmm. I said, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my client, right over there, 1964, could not crawl out of a car without every woman in America tearing her hair out, yelling his name at the top of their lungs. Mm -hmm. He could have had any woman in the world that year. Mm -hmm. He went with the Manson family-looking girl who was the photographer, <laughs> who, who was relatively plain, mm -hmm. lived with the woman for 35 years. 35 years, not one night did he ever miss with his wife in 35 years, except when he was arrested for marijuana in Japan, mm -hmm. and she was down the hall in a different cell. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. He loved this woman. She made him eat vegetarian food. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay? She was not attractive. He put her on the cover of the Band on the Run album. Mm -hmm. James Coburn looked better than she did. <laughs> True on enough. the cover of that album. This woman couldn't hold a tune in a bucket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> couldn't hold a tune in a bucket. He let her play in his band for 10 years. He loved this woman. Lived with her 35 years. Never missed a night. 
she passed away. He became a knight. Mm -hmm. I think he owns Happy Birthday. I know he owns Ramblin' Rick from Georgia Tech, a hell of an engineer. Okay. He's a billionaire. <laughs> the queen hit him over the shoulder with a sword and made him a knight. Mm -hmm. He is a sir. Mm -hmm. And that one-legged, wooden-legged woman <laughs> wants you to believe that he's hard to get along with. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's Josh, and of course... Hi, Chick McGee, everybody. Your chance to win a Mini Max Big Green Egg for Bob and Tom at Big Green Egg. Each week, someone will win a Mini Max Big Green Egg. It's the Bob and Tom Show Big Skin Pick, empowered by the Big Green Egg. Go to bobandtom.com slash contest on the computer. And... <laughs> Is that where you go? Are we eligible? 98. She posed naked in Playboy magazine, mm. a move which critics said severely tarnished her image and marketability. Men throughout the world were outraged. <laughs> if Katarina were going to pose nude, why had she not done it in 1988 when we were all fascinated by what she must look like without yeah, yeah. clothing? Yeah. To wait 10 years after her physical prime, when we had all clearly moved on to Nancy Kerrigan, <laughs> was a slap in the face to male fans everywhere and goes against the very spirit of the Olympic Games. Yes. Hello, Michelle Kwan, are you listening? Uh, <laughs> this is another Bob and Tom Olympic moment uh, yeah. in history. Hello. Hi, this is... Back to the Bob and Tom show. It's Josh, hot for you. Ah. It's my loins. <laughs> There's Christy Lee at the news desk. Hey. There's Matt Godwin in the <laughs> performance room. Hello, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hi. He's over there at the uh, I Hate Stevie Singer. Need some Singer. enthusiasm out of you guys. we got a guest. Sidekick chair. We do? Oh, we do? Ace Ooh. Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Oh, you think we have a guest, do we? No, we have an oh. adversary. We have a foe. Oh. If he wants to step into the octagon... Put his dukes up and shoot it in the weak time, baby. Watch for this one. Watch for this right hand. Oh. We are joined uh, by Mr. Brad Graham from Erie, Pennsylvania, winner of week six. What up, s'mores? Of the Big Green Egg <laughs> Mini Max in our pigskin pick'em competition. Hey, Brad, can you hear me okay? I can hear you fine. Oh, there we are. Um, now, uh, Brad, you did great. You got um, 14 of 15 games last week. You tied with six others, but you won all the tiebreakers. So congratulations. You're a big winner. Uh, what, what's, yeah, your, what's your favorite team in the NFL? Oh, I'm definitely a Steeler fan. Okay. Oh, wow. First, oh, there's Steelers. a lot of those Steelers. flying Steelers. around here. Steelers are uh, in Southern California this yes. week, uh, playing the Los Angeles Rams. Hmm. How about that? How about that? Now you get to pick against Mr. Chick McGee. That's right. Uh, with the famous shoe-in of the week. Chick, are you ready? I am ready. As soon as I get an NFL team or a game from Christy Lee. Uh, I want the Packers Broncos. You want the Packers Broncos because... Because uh, Andy's a Packers fan, Big husband. Daddy Andy yeah. likes the Packers. Yes. <laughs> oh, he does like the Packers, huh? Yeah, he does. Is there a special night of the week for uh, him to... <laughs> Could we move on? <laughs> okay. Green Bay is traveling to the Denver Broncos uh, Sunday. At, it's your, uh, your late game, right around 4, 4.30 Eastern. Um, let's see. The Broncos are the home underdog. They're getting one. Uh, who do you like, uh, uh, S'mores? Uh, do you like the Packers? <laughs> Packers or the Broncos, sir? Uh, I'm going to say Denver's kind of a mess. Yeah. So... I'm going to have to pick Green Bay in this one. Thank you. Okay, I am taking the Broncos plus the one at home. I Are think, you? I think you're right about Denver, but I think Green Bay has their own messes, is what I feel. Mm. Mm. Uh, Josh. What are the Saints up to? The, what are the That is, they might be on a the bye Saints. week. The Saints. What are the Saints? No. What are the Snakes? The Snakes. That's the Jaguars. That's tonight, yeah. That's tonight. Oh, uh, come on. Okay, I'll chat. What are the Titans up to? Oh, come on. No, the... I will take uh, New Orleans Saints hosting the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jaguars getting two in this one, and there is, oh. I'll, I'll be, uh, total transparency. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, not sure if he's going to play tonight. Who do you like, Jacksonville or New Orleans? 
Uh, I like the Jacksonville D, so I'm definitely going to go with Jacksonville. All right. Okay. You know what? You convinced me. I'll take Jacksonville plus the two tonight at New Orleans. Hmm. Tom, you wanted uh, the Cleveland Browns uh, traveling to the Indianapolis Colts? That's right. All right. I like um, uh, the Colts' hum home underdog. They're getting three. Hmm. Who do you like, uh, uh, what's his name? Brad. Is our guest, Brad. 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 Who do you like, Browns minus three, Colts plus three? Well, as much as I don't want to do it, being a Steeler fan, I am going to have to pick the Brownies. Oh. I think he's right on that. I will take the Browns minus the three. And then your Steelers travel to SoCal to take on the Los Angeles Rams uh, and uh, Puka Nakua and uh, <laughs> Cooper Cup, known collectively as the Pooper Receivers. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Rams minus three, Pittsburgh plus a three. Uh, it's a no-brainer. I'm going with the Steelers. No kidding. All right, I'll, yep. take, the, I'll take the Rams minus the three. And that's Steelers like to win those ugly games. Oh, boy, they sure do. And as long yeah, as that guy's hair is pretty. As long as that damn watch <laughs> kid. <laughs> no, are you, are you going to double any of your is bets, Chick McGee? No, we've uh, put the uh, double shock to bet until we get above 500. Smart man. Thank yeah. you. Brad, you want to double any of your bets? You want to uh, double your Steelers bet? You don't, Brad. You don't. I am going to double the Cleveland bet. Wow. wow. Okay. I think okay. Cleveland's going to come into town and no, see. they're going to put their smack down. No, no, no. Oh. Gardner Minshew is going to step up. It's going to be <laughs> an air, air circus. It's going to be the greatest. Okay. All right. I'll double shot one. Oh, right. I ain't no puss. No, you're not. <laughs> Which one? I will. He convinced me again. I'll take the Browns minus the three uh, versus the Colts. Uh, All right. As a double shot. Okay. There you go. Wow. Yeah, thank you, Here and S'mores on the same page. How's that taste? Yeah. Now, Me and uh, my buddy S'more are ready to go. S'more. <laughs> yeah. You're Could calling... be you didn't pick the other one. What, what's what other, other one? one? What other one? Weren't you calling me the cracker? He, uh, he did say Yeah, uh, he did. I, I don't know. But then I thought that that might be a negative for a white person, and I didn't know. Yeah. So I, I didn't want to say, hey, hey you cracker. And then I, I, I grew up being called the cracker or graham cracker for no 15 kidding. years of my life. No kidding? Wow. Yeah. I just uh, heard that a lot. That. Okay. Mm. But s'mores. S'mores is very cool, right? Yeah. 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 So it's kind of hip. One is. Right. S'mores, yeah. s'mores is bringing the beer. It means you have a chocolate filling. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, Brad, congratulations. You did a great job. Are you um, uh, in real life a real gambler? No, not at all. Attaboy. Oh. Nope. There you go. Okay. Are you a married guy, single guy, uh, playing the field? What's I'm, happening? I am married. Yeah. I have a couple kids. Oh. All right. Living the dream. Yeah. Doing the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How old are your kids, may I ask? Uh, my daughter Amara is 17, and my son Oakley is 12. Cool right. name, right. Lord. Right. That is, uh, you're in a living hell, aren't you? <laughs> wow. It's wow. interesting. I, I, bet, I bet it is interesting. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. As they say, 17. Yeah, no one ever said, ah, oh, 17, that's a great age. What a great age. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, she's uh, awesome, though. Uh, I have no well, good. And when I'm she's late. not saying she hates you. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Brad Graham from Erie, PA. Thanks, Brad. Thanks for playing. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks let, for let me ask me you on. some questions about the, since the fall is here. Oh, are you are you going to any Halloween parties? No, probably not. Maybe take my kid trick or treating. That'll That's be good. about it. That's good. Yeah. Cool. Oh, you only okay. got about one more year, yeah. didn't you? I'm getting to say twelve is yeah. kind of on the uh, cusp there. Mm. Brad, if you had to pick a Halloween candy, uh, what would you choose? What's your choice? Oh. um... Midnight Milky Way. Oh, that's oh, mine. Good that? choice. That's Good awesome. choice. Great choice. Yes. That's my favorite. Me nice. too. If you had to go to a costume party, um, you and your wife, what would you go as? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, Do you have a favorite Steeler you could put a jersey on? <laughs> Hmm. Oh, my wife likes Troy Polamalu. She's got the hair for it, so that would be all right. I guess maybe I could go as Terry Bradshaw because I've got the hair for him, too. Oh, there you okay. go. Well, that would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. Do you have uh, a 12 jersey and uh, what was pop 43 jersey, whatever Polamalu was? Uh, my, my wife has the Polamalu jersey. I'd have to dig up a Bradshaw jersey somewhere. Okay. That'd be, That'd be great. Well, you know yeah, what? Unfortunately, I'm starting to look just like him. Tom's going to buy you a Bradshaw jersey, aren't you, Tom? <laughs> jersey, Tom. Hey, well, I'll take it. I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah. If you beat Chick what? in your picks, what? I'll buy you a Bradshaw jersey. Wow. Oh, I love it. Not, All right. Not cool. an actual high dollar. You know what the ones, the ones with the tackle 12, but not the high dollar with like the 150 brand. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hey, that'll work. I'll oh, take it. Okay. Tom, what does Chick win if he wins? Yes. Yeah. yeah. 
I uh, uh, <laughs> I get to uh, I get Job to work security? here another I will, another week. I will not I will not mock his his life, his work ethic, or any other aspects of his personality. For how long? One break. <laughs> Well, at least I, I believe you can do that. Hey, uh, Brad, should you win, what size jersey do you want? Do you like it a little loose or roomy? I would say a large would do it. An L? Yeah. Okay. Fat. All right. Yeah. No, uh, if. <laughs> fat, 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 fat guy. Fat guy. Real fat guy. <laughs> it's not fat. So 90% of men wear a size course, large. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so what has to happen here is. Uh, you got to go XL, though, because you put your pads on underneath it, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. Okay, okay. Oh, well, the, I mean, this, is gonna, this makes us very exciting, Brad. Yes, it does. Very excited yeah. about this. Okay. I'll be glued to the TV this weekend. Okay, great, great. Um, well, I certainly appreciate your listening, Brad, and thanks for being a good sport. You're a good man. And, and you're, as far as we're concerned, you're s'mores in our book. Yeah. S'mores. Okay, s'mores. I'll take it. Okay, my s'mores. man. Sounds good. S'mores is bringing the beer. Yeah, right. that's cool. Okay, okay. Okay, hey, thanks, Brad. Bye, Brad. Good, good talking luck. to you. Thanks, guys. Hey, good so luck. Fine. Maybe getting a jersey on me. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, awesome. Got to pay attention. Now we'll see what happens. Um, got another funny letter here. Uh, uh, a chick and I were talking about, of all things, phlebotomists. Yep. I had to have a blood test the other day. You and, and I. You had, and a I. Great, had a great phlebotomist. Just we, had that touch. We deal with them quite often. Um, yeah. And uh, got a nice letter here. This guy goes, uh, I work at a school, uh, and I came in about 15 minutes one morning because I had to stop by the lab and get uh, give blood for my annual physical. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the boys in my class said, Mr. D, you're late. And I said, well, I had to stop and see the phlebotomist. Do you know what that is? He thought for a second and said, is that a butt doctor? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> that, uh, kid, close. that kid is a uh, next generation morning radio host. That's yeah. right. Yeah, I wouldn't is. have known what a phlebotomist was if I hadn't been a few times. It's a, a blood drawer. Uh, yes. Works with blood. Vein, vein finder. Paints in blood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Sips blood. <laughs> A lot of maniacs out there. We have a, we have a, we have a dead body in the news. Oh, oh yeah. A family in North Carolina say their deceased loved one's body was mistaken for a Halloween decoration. So the opposite of what normally yes, happens. Yes, that's what normally, right? Hmm. Queen City News reports Robert Owen's body was found on the lawn of a China Grove home that had been empty for some time. You know, Whoa, I, have, China I understand Grove. in China Grove, the preacher and the teacher <laughs> yeah. are Lord, they're a caution. <laughs> they, are, they are a caution. People in the family <laughs> said a lawn care worker mowed around the guy's body thinking it was a prop. That's crazy. And it was not until later that someone else made the gruesome discovery. You know, this is a dead guy, right? Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. An investigation into the death is still ongoing. Whoa. North Carolina. Wow. That's wild. Whew. But they don't tell you how... anything more. There's a, there are a lot of questions. Here. Well, the yeah. investigation's still ongoing. Yeah. There's a dead guy in the lawn. Yeah, so they're investigating. They Maybe he had a heart attack walking to the post office. I don't know. They can't comment on an ongoing investigation. Okay. Yeah, yeah it would. So you mow the grass right around the guy. Yeah, that's what he did. Thinking it was a decoration. I mean, you can't, can you blame him? Sure. Time of year? Yeah. yeah. Right. It's that time of year. I guess. So I guess if you want to kill somebody, this is the time to do it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm already up hanging eight. From, hanging from, yeah, how many hang, years? Yeah, hanging uh, from a tree and people drive by. Uh, okay. Uh, I already yeah. killed mine last week. I, mean, yeah. I got too early. Dang. Okay. In uh, Florida. Oh. Go ahead. In Florida, officials say a wanted man tried to throw them off the trail with a sign saying he did not live at a certain house. The Polk mm. County Sheriff's Office said deputies went to a residence in Lakeland after receiving a tip that a wanted person was there. Upon arrival, this is the best, deputies noticed a note written on a dry erase board in front of a window that said, Johnny Yates does not live here. <laughs> <laughs> so, so go ahead, just leave now. All right? Right? <laughs> That's right. However, a person leaving the house told officials that Yates was, in fact, in the house. Oh, Johnny Yates. After two bouts of surrender smoke, deputies entered the home and located the 41-year-old <laughs> suspect oh. hiding in a modified chest of hey, drawers. did you guys read the sign? <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they had a modified <laughs> chest of drawers, so this isn't the first time. To, hide, exactly. to hide in. Yes. They, ripped, they whipped out the surrender smoke. <laughs> Nothing in here but us mobs. <laughs> 
He was taken into custody while other people at the home with Yates were charged with the resisting arrest. Wow. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm not in here. I'm Signed, not. Johnny Yates. <laughs> Don't look in the fake armoire where yes, you might find man. I'm certainly not hiding in the, the modified chest of drawers. God. How you do you really? How do so you they do must that? Have, well, the, presumably you would... You would just have the front of the you drawers? You would take the drawers and cut the fronts off and have some kind of... And, and like, yeah. 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 And then apply them all, I guess, to a larger larger board and then be able to climb in and pull yeah. that thing back. <laughs> Jeez. So, yeah, this guy's apparently been... So they've thought about it. You know who's worse than this? Johnny Yates. Who? <laughs> Johnny Loudwonder. Oh, Man, Johnny Loudwonder. Yeah. Yeah. He's out there calling for sick. <laughs> oh, Johnny Loudwonder, you, you be quiet now. He's incorrigible. <laughs> Johnny Loudwonder. Mm -hmm. uh, there's another story out of Florida. This time, a man tried a unique approach to getting out of a drug charge. WKRG. In Cincinnati? The K. KRG. Oh, oh not P. Not <laughs> reports yeah. that deputies were serving the 47-year-old man with a warrant when they searched him and discovered drugs as well as drug paraphernalia in his shorts. The man allegedly told deputies, these aren't my pants. Okay. Aha. Didn't matter. He was charged with possession of a controlled substance without prescription and possession of drug paraphernalia. Why won't the police people... Believe what we tell them. <laughs> These aren't my pants. I'm not in this house. What's the problem? I'm just crapping in these for a friend. Oh, God. <laughs> is, that, is that right, Tom? Uh, okay. uh, naturally, he'd be yeah. pooping and <laughs> Pooping so, and, bu and they're, button. And, they're not uh, my pants. So he stole the pants? Everybody. I don't know. <laughs> he wanted the police to think if they weren't his pants, he wouldn't be arrested? What is that? It happens a lot, actually. You see it on Cops, the TV show. Do you really? These aren't my pants. Yeah. <laughs> These aren't my <laughs> pants. Yeah, you see it all the time. Do you grab somebody it. else's pants? Where no, are they? Uh, was They're it, lying. I think, I forget, it was a Dallas Cowboy who uh, rented a Mercedes and had a, a, a hold on <laughs> oh, oh. leather bag full of marijuana yeah. in the trunk. Uh, that's not that's my bag, but that's not my marijuana or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, it, and it was like a two hundred pounds. Yeah, right. Yeah. right yeah. It was something crazy, <laughs> crazy amount. Yeah. These aren't my pants. One time, my friends and I were underage drinking outside of a bowling alley, and we had some beer <laughs> left in the car. We went in and bowled a few frames, came back out, and the police were standing by the my car. car, and they said, uh, uh, "Hey, uh, we noticed." <laughs> Uh, there's some beer in, in, in the car here. Whose car is this? I was like, it's mine. He goes, yeah, what's with the beer? And I go, you know what? We were trying to find out the same thing. I, we, we were bowling, came out, and we found some beer in here. And I, I, we, we were like, well, who the hell left this? And my buddy looked at me and goes, come on, Arnold. <laughs> what a bad wingman. And the cop, I, well, the cops go, you know what? We were just going to give you guys a warning. I may not now because of you <laughs> trying to do it. Thankfully, they did just take the beer and leave us, leave us alone. But what a dummy. <laughs> we were trying to figure out the same thing, officer. Uh, get here. I, my car looks just like that. Uh-huh. But, yeah. oh, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much. Uh, right now, it's survey time once again. It's a simple survey. I'll start with you, Christy Lee. What is the sleep number setting for your sleep number bed? 40. What does that mean? That means I like a softer mattress, if you will, because it goes all the way up to... 100 is the answer. Chick McGee, your sleep number setting is... 100. I like a firm mattress, yeah, Tom. That's now, the key to this is, what is the other half of the mattress, Christy Lee? Do you know? Um, Mine, 100. Andy likes a hard mattress, too, apparently. Uh, yeah. And in case I I've, I've stopped... Um, we have uh, <laughs> Chick McGee. You're also 100. Yes, that's, that's a right. firm mattress, my friend. Yes, that's the beauty of the sleep. I'm getting the look. Okay, what's your sleep number setting, Josh? Ah, uh, 65. Thank you for asking. The people okay. demand to know. <laughs> now, when you live alone, do you set both sides at 65 so you can choose one side of the bed each night? Or uh, I do. Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. That way you can talk about having it your way. The sleep number bed does let you uh, individualize your sleep number setting so that you sleep just right. Science shows quality sleep helps improve your mental, emotional, physical, and relationship health. Yes, sir. So sleep at the next level. Unlock your unique potential with a smart bed that can perform as well as you. And now it's at its lowest price ever. The all-new Queen Sleep Number C2 Smart Bed is only $880 plus special financing for a limited time. 
only at Sleep Number stores or sleepnumber.com slash BT show. Subject to credit approval. See store for details. That's sleepnumber.com slash BT show. You can see one or you can see a C2. Yeah. Uh, that's from Sleep Number. I love my Sleep Number bed. Uh, currently 85 on my side of the bed. Thanks very much for asking. They have perfected adjustable firmness at the Sleep Number store. Now, Coming up, we have a little bit of a history lesson for you. You might find yourself learning something. Our big refrigerator news is going to have to wait till tomorrow. It's very exciting. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show. Good to see you guys. Uh, what are you going to play? I'm going to play Sunny Road. Here we go. Okay. Let me see this uh, pair of panties with uh, well, kind of looks like the a, cushion. Yeah, see, and it's is it a regular pair of panties? God. Oh, look oh, at there that! More yeah. of us could fit in these. <laughs> Should I try these on? Can we see your butt right now? I mean, <laughs> sure, Bob. Well, I want to see the before and after. Well, well I can't. Well, she's in a skirt though. You really uh, can't. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I don't know. I'm yeah. uh, okay. Do you have yeah. monitors? Oh, I don't have them on. Well, that's uh, really uh, rude. <laughs> wow, that's, that's your big ass. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Nipper attack. <laughs> like, I Kill. 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 Kill it. Let him have them. Get him, Do Nipper. you have them on? No, your ass looks very nice. You don't need to put them on. That's not what you implied. That's not what you said. No, I didn't. You see, implied she had a big ass. No. All right, we need a before of Christie's butt. Take as long as you like, Dean. <laughs> Come on, smile. Uh -huh. Now, do you just put them on? Are you going to put them on? Can you? I'll remember, uh, can, uh, Christy, the padding. Put them on right the now. padding goes in the back. Yeah, now. remember that. Right. Just like pants. Oh, oh, she's, she's, she's slipping them right on. So, oh, okay, wait a second. No, she's slipping them. She has trick. a skirt on, so she can just put them right on. I didn't know we were. Okay. Dean, get some of that while you're at. Come on, Dean. You're not wearing. Come on, Dean. Are you wearing hose? Come on, what are you queer, Dean? You're not wearing. You're not wearing hose, are you? <laughs> Women don't wear hose. No, are you wearing? Anymore. But you're, are you wearing traditional panties right now? Yeah, boring. Okay. It's Friday, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just boring, ugly. No, no. I mean, but you do have yeah. panties on because those yes. have, those okay. haven't been laundered. You might get some. So do you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dean. Make love to the camera, Christy. Go for it. Okay, now she's now she's Dean, slipping. You can't. Could you, could you, <laughs> get, let's say, allow a little bit of dignity. That's a little Christy, oh, yeah. Christy Lee is now slipping on the um, the booty pop. Okay, where's the cameras? Can panty right. augment. Or, uh, what does it say in the on the? Okay. Okay. Now she's let's. See. Now I said you got on. those on, so. So now, now she's got the now, padded. Well, I'm curious on. if you sit down, do you feel the big cushion? Is it like being on a? Uh, no, that's me. On lawn furniture? Oh, yeah. that. Well, uh, that. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, baby's got back. Oh wow. You got, looks like you've got let's take some. Take a look at that. Huh? Oh my God. <laughs> Let me Dude, see. Looks like you've got a huge ass tumor. Uh, <laughs> you've got ass you have tumor. You have shelf ass. Nice. So uh, step uh, out from behind the monitors. Okay. Let's see what. Uh, let's see. What oh the, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my got, God. Yeah, look at she's that. got. Yeah, she's got. Baby's got back now. Oh, that really does us. 
pop yeah, them out. Yeah. They really, it, it really accentuates oh, yeah. oh, the, the yeah. backside of your backside. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's Look at that, uh huh. Josh, what's wrong? And my back is sore, my legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look, nothing. Ah, uh, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. All see right. you later, buddy. Give it a... Oh. Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific. <laughs> See me. you later. <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more. Having good time. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. That's awful. Awful entertaining. Essential morning radio. Uh, this is Bob and Tom Radio. 24 7. When Father dies, life will be strange. When Grandfather dies, my whole world will change. When Grandfather dies, I'll scream and I'll yell. Cause I'll be rich as hell. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I figured That's I didn't touching. need to write anymore. Jeff Rothband is our guest. Uh, Jeff is a fine, fine comedian. <laughs> I um, actually had to do that once. What? Be a pole bearer. And that, oh, my that's God. That's heavy. Yes, that's a heavy, heavy job. Yeah. I actually had to go to a funeral, and I was asked to be a pole bearer, and I, uh, <laughs> always a pole bearer. <laughs> 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 Never the corpse. Never the corpse. <laughs> this is Reno Collier, and you're listening to well, us, please. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Hey, Chick. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hello, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Chick. He's uh, wearing his brown shirt over there at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick <laughs> chair. Very nice brown shirt. There's Thanks. Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Is brown? Um... I thought you said it is brown. It is what brown. Is it? Oh, con, right? Yeah, it's very brown. I very it was brown, a, dark brown. A dark army green. Black. That was correct. Okay. Um, well, I'm sorry. What, what else have we got going on over there? Well, uh, we got a little uh, this. Oh. Time now for today. <laughs> Uh-oh. You were saying? <laughs> Tom! I saw Christy that. threw something at me. Assault. No ball in the house, kids. Sorry, no Dad. Ball in the house. Oh. Whoa! Oh, Jeez. now you lost my ball. You okay? <laughs> you really threw that. Um, Ellen just threw out his shoulder. Today you okay? <laughs> There's nothing worse to call a guy a girl's name. Really? As we go jetting back to the 50s. Tom, go ahead. Did your coach ever do that? All right, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> All the time. All right, ladies. Uh, happy birthday. Don't be such a girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. John Lithgow. Oh, we like him. He can yes. do anything. Doesn't his name sound like some guy with a lisp? Come on, Josh. Let's go. <laughs> I did it. I said it before, and I'll Chick. say it again. <sighs> Josh, Josh, let's go. I uh, the fabulous <laughs> television show, the sitcom Third Rock from the Sun. Yeah. Yes. There's an episode called Dick Smoker, uh -huh. and he 
takes up smoking because he just wants to experience everything earthling. <laughs> right. And uh, he has to go into a stairwell in the business he's working at to smoke. He can't smoke anywhere else. He gets locked in the stairwell for like six hours. He goes insane, and his only friend is a sock puppet that he makes out of the sock. And at one point, somebody knocks on the door and comes through to let him out, and they and they knock, and they both look at the door. <laughs> <laughs> He's he he can do no wrong in my book. He's wonderful. It'll be sad yeah. when he dies. No, happy <laughs> birthday, uh, 1962, Evander Holyfield, um, famous boxer. Holy yeah, yes. Holyfield's younger than uh, younger than me. Younger than me. Does he have part of his ear gone? Uh, Is that the one? Yeah. Right. Isn't yeah. that one? Yeah. He had to rearrange his entire uh, living room so he could. Here, the, here the TV, <laughs> and he can't wear sunglasses anymore. Right, poor guy. He's falling off. <laughs> His right ear is partially there, I think. Uh, happy birthday, John Favreau, uh, actor, film director. Mm -hmm. Favs is what they call uh, it. Swingers uh, love it. Apparently, a great chef. Uh, Trey Parker, brilliant uh, writer. Oh yeah. Um, Very talented. Born on this date in 1969, yeah. South Park. If you haven't seen Team America, World Police, <laughs> give it a look. The Book of Mormon America. is a great stage play. Yes. Um, Thundercat. What's Thundercat? Born on this date in 1984. The cartoon? The bass guitar player. Oh. I don't Thunder know who that is. Thundercat. Um, huh. Let's find Ooh. out. Let's find out who Thundercat is. Um, Christy, don't you know who that is? No. I didn't date every bass player you Tool. <laughs> <laughs> you, almost, you didn't want to say tool. No, uh, okay. Um, 1973, Ringo Starr releases the song Photograph. I, I kind of like it. Do you guys like that one? I like Ringo. I think he's fun. He's all right. Mm -hmm. You just saw Ringo, didn't you, Christy? Yeah, I did. Down in Florida. It was great. Man, you would never believe he's 80-some years old. Hmm. Uh, okay, now this is, a, this is a quiz for Josh. You think I could beat him up? I do. I don't yeah, know. I do. Squish for He's all about peace and love and yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. peace and love. Peace uh, and love. Peace and bam. Number one on the charts on this date in 1985. Can I guess? Was no, you can't. You're not eligible. Just David. Josh. And David. The song <laughs> was uh, "Take on Me." Oh yeah. Take. Mm -hmm. Great song. You remember the name of the band? I do. Aha. 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 Yes. Aha. They're, they're, everybody's right. When I was a music director slash program director, uh -huh. which people find slash hard to believe. Slash weekends and full time. <laughs> morning guy. Oh. I uh, had the biggest fight with my Atlantic rep on adding Aha. I hated that song and would not add it. Oh, wow. And he kept, Bill kept telling me, you're the only one who's not added. You got to add it. Bill Heltimus? Bill Heltimus. Is that That's song exactly right. still on one of your least favorite lists or... Uh, it kind of grew on me. Did you end up adding it ever? Yeah. yeah. He sent me a lot of free CDs. Yeah, and if, you guys, if you've not seen it, that's a classic music video, too. Yeah. A lot of work went into that one. It's well, yeah but, yeah, but now you can do it on your phone. I know. Two but seconds. Yeah. yeah. Back then, the, the hand-drawn. Thundercat was in Suicidal Tendencies. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, crossover thrash band, and now he's done a lot of stuff on his own. But I thought you he said... He produced all, Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar. I you said only born in 1984. That's what this says. Hmm. 1984, Stephen. Then he wasn't Lee original. Bruner. Then there's no way he was an original suicidal. Better team. known well, as the bass Thundercat. Is Metallica now it used to be in suicidal. Yeah, yeah. So he must be. Uh, um, 1985. Do something. The first <laughs> blockbuster store opens in Dallas, Texas. Huh. And 85. Aren't, aren't, aren't we down to one? I, uh, I wasn't it, was it in, in Oregon, 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 Bend, think, Oregon, or something? Still there. Oh. Why don't they just stop the dance and name it Bend Over, Oregon? I don't know. I've been uh, trying. To, I've, I write them letters quarterly. Very helpful. Um, 1995, they brought back Hello, Dolly Ugh. to Broadway. It only ran 118 performances, probably because it blows. Amazing. Amazing show. It's wonderful. <laughs> defines. Yeah, it is Broadway. It defines really. what? Yeah. Uh, Broadway excellence. Well, <laughs> revivals. Well, the beginning. Dolly. Dolly. No, but I mean, you, you yes. bring back a play, bring back a good one. That's a dirty. <laughs> yeah, like the dated uh, Maria. Well, side story. Okay, now this is one last one. Oh, this one's for you, Christy. Yes. 1999. Mm -hmm. Prince. Cher released a song that became the Billboard Song of the Year. If I could turn back to... That was a little earlier. I think, oh. I, think I know. Is that, what, is what is it? I Believe in Love, that one? That's you right. Life after love. Do you believe in our sonny's here? And a, a wonderful example of how auto-tuning can be good. I love I, Cher. Don't you like dare say anything bad about her. It's one of the great gay anthems it. of all time. I... <laughs> is it? <laughs> what? It's not... 
Frankie goes to Hollywood. No. Not why I'm saying it. Relax. relax. Frankie, say relax. <laughs> Don't do it. When yeah. you want to come, that's not a... <laughs> Uh, let's see. Things we learned on the show today. One brown eye, one blue eye. That's Max Scherzer. Freak, freak. No, no, no. One blue eye, two brown eyes. That's My right. Eye. You're exactly right. Unless he bleaches. I say, and you said, you said there are only 150,000 of these people, right? Right. So I, it should be easy to round them up. That's right. Oh. Wait, there's a proper word for that. What is it again? Hermo. Monsters. Hermo. You guys, stop Great. <laughs> Uh, Tom thinks flying taxis will be very cool in Dayton, oh, Ohio. Oh, are you kidding? He can't wait. It's great. I am scared of horses. <laughs> Don't be. And thusly, terrible. they're scared of you. Oh, uh, we got. We had a. We we have a definitive answer. Barry Gibb wrote uh, "Beans, Beans" the musical for. Oh, okay. how about that? The more you eat, the more you too. And Robin, Robin was that in shadow was dancing? Huh? Uh, Ace Cosby has not been to a strip club since 1999, and he hasn't told the truth in longer than. That. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Christy Lee's going to be on a reality series called The Dimple Life. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. And uh, that's it. Put some stank on it. Tom. Heterochromia. That's it. Is the one blue eye, one brown eye. Okay. Uh, I don't know uh, what it is for two brown eyes and one blue eye. <laughs> Heterochromia. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Think you know your pro football? Then play Pigskin Pick'em every week at...